first at the buffet. What? Oh, seriously? Oh, yeah, I know it sucks, but that's what it says. So that's what we gotta go by. Thank you. I appreciate it, Morty. I know you were sucking the Kool-Aid out of the Vindicator's dick, so that's why popular people are f***ing dumb, and why your pretentious, poorly written, high-budget friends back there can eat a double-decker shit sandwich. We're gonna be a great team, like Moses and his buddy who like to collect seashells. Boo Boo Judy! Welcome to the Moses hey. and the Rig Show. That's what's up. I'm Pickle Rick! Woo! Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boo Boo Judy! Welcome to the Moses and the Rig Show. Moses Heaps, fuck you, old man. And there's Rick. And she's a bitch. You know what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Me and this girl's great together. She's like, I don't know how uh, that girl ever said you laid a hand on her. I said, thank you. Ooh, that's square. Boo Boo Judy. Welcome to the Moses and the Rick Show. Um, every single time I hear him go, ew, that square, it's just fucking crazy. <laughs> ah, what an idiot. What an idiot, man. Yeah. Welcome, everybody, to the Moses and the Rick Show. How uh, is everybody tonight? How you doing, Moses? Uh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I hear ya. Man, it's you know busy. Who, look at my avatar. Who is that? Does anybody know? Anybody I know do. who the Avatar is? Do you know who it is? I know who it is. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to say? or you want to? Do I you think that's it? who. He, he needs to start his own channel. Abso I bet, fucking lootly. I absolutely. bet he's got stories that would blow people's minds. If, uh, absolutely. If he's them two wet brains put their life on YouTube <laughs> like that, it's just <laughs> you couldn't imagine the shit they do behind the scenes. My hey. Lord. I am a tater tot. I am a huge fan. We could call ourselves the tater tots. Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Tater I'm is... Gonna, I'm going to drive a tater wedge in between Rebel and Mo. <laughs> oh, do you think a Rebel likes to toss his tater salad? Possibly. Oh, <laughs> okay, we can stop now. Um, why don't you give some shout outs to these fine folks in here, Mr. Heaps? All right, I see Shane Drury is in here and it wants to know who's that on Rick's. That would be Mammy. the meanest, the biggest, and the baddest. Yep. Yes. Mammy. Mammy White. Mammy oh, White. Ma. I'm going to hang her by her swag titties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I talk about my woman like that. Uh, <laughs> Stephanie, Chief Pounder Hearts in here. Many the moocha, many the moocha. Oh, let me uh, tell yeah. you. Let me tell you yeah. something. Um, uh, many sent me some extremely cool pictures on texted them to our hotline, and let me tell mm -hmm. y'all what. If y'all don't know how cool Many the moocha is, then there's something wrong with you, because that's one of the coolest cats. I have ever in my whole life had had like photographic evidence of it is yeah it's, yeah the picture literally said, boarded the mothership and got yes. funked out funkadelic <laughs> it's got all funked up that's right swears that's up and right. down that she didn't throw her hip out but I could have swore she told me she did <laughs> oh my gosh I tell you what I see. Sexy senorita, if there ever was one, but yeah, oh, yeah. Maybe the mucha, the real Bronco mucha 22 mucha. up in here, a straight Dirkymon card holder, verified. Right. 
That's right. World That's famous right. Charlie D is going to jail. Patty Lynn said she's yeah. suing Charlie D. He's part of the lawsuit. You, Mikey 12 Point, you're all going down. That's right. That's right. You knew better. <laughs> you knew better. You didn't think you could get by with that shit, did you? Yeah. She's got a notebook, too. She's got a fucking mm-hmm. notebook. Look out. Yeah. Timothy Muncy yeah. in the house. Badass bow tie, smart mouth motherfucker in the house. Scum. Gotta fuck Tennessee Vol Niner, Herschel, Kayla Ann. Petey Wheaty in the house. Petey Wheatstraw. Let me tell you, me and Petey Wheatstraw, we worked a panel over. Well, I mean, we must have went through, I know Petey went through 10 damn alts just to, <laughs> just to get under square skin. I mean, we hit square so hard. He said, uh, I think I've had about enough of this. I want to snuggle under the blanket with brownie. <laughs> and watch a movie. Ah, it, was it was great. Drop top 92, main dabber. Ah, uh, little Robbie, the OG, the motherfucking family. Fourth for life. All kind of little stuff with the numbers. Okay, dirt. Bo. Loney. Randy Tippett up in here. You know what Randy Tippett's doing? Randy Tippett's pushing us fucking... We're going nationwide on the world. I'm telling you what. International. Yeah, nationwide on the world. Um, I'm going to uh, share Randy's uh, uh, information on my community tab. Uh, maybe once Moses on them titties. Hey, you can swing on them titties. <laughs> But uh, Randy oh, yeah. is doing all kinds of cool stuff, y'all. Y'all got to go check out. Randy has a, um, a radio channel, I guess is the best way to say. Is it a radio channel? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, um, uh, and the Rick and Moses, or Moses and Rick show, plays on that, uh, playbacks on it. So, like, it's really cool. And we've been getting views. We've been getting people that have never heard anything about Durky or Square or nothing, listening on the show. And... Uh, coming back and stuff. So we, uh, Randy Tippett's doing really cool stuff. So make sure I'm going to sh- share his uh, his link info on my community page later. Witchy woman up in here. I've got so many songs backed up. You know, Filthy was asking me too. You know, I when's the next that. song coming? Uh, it's like these yeah. locales are driving me nuts. Like he, it's just too much. You know, Rebel goes live, running my name in his mouth for hours. Dirky does the same damn thing. I have to give them the attention that they deserve, that Absolutely. they crave. Yeah. I see Jam yeah, Poser Exposer up in here saying it's spooky season. Oh yeah. I'm surprised we yes, hadn't got the spooky is. uh the spooky intro going yet, but it's coming, it's coming. I see little yes. feller and little buddy up in here. I get them confused sometimes. I didn't have my glasses on the other night and I, I could only hear I heard the voice and I knew it was one of the buddier fellers yeah. on uh, on a panel. I think it was Buddy, but I was calling him feller in the in the private chat. As well, I was saying lots of things in the private chat, trying to get on panel with the. Well, we'll see that later, but he done yeah. God's work. Oh, he did, little buddy, yeah. little buddy did. Yes, yes, it was fantastic, and. Uh, <laughs> so we'll get into kinda, that. One. Square yeah. kind of cheered it on, and yeah, uh, yeah. If it wasn't for Square and Buddy, I would have not got on there because apparently he was following the rules. Show your face, show your face back there, Joe. Somebody <laughs> <laughs> said, "I got your back." <laughs> yes, you do, buddy. It was, it was all like Donkey Kong. And let me tell you something. The best part. Well, let's um, let's go ahead and get started with it. You want to do it? Or you want to say yeah, that you want, a little yeah. bit? Well, I Let's don't know. Let's start with the other one. Let's do the other one. I see Harley Davidson in here. There was somebody else I saw. I saw a little fella, Josie. Uh, I seem like I missed somebody. Spencer, Victoria ja Smith. John ja Rick up in here looking for a fight. That's what I was going to say. Don't you have some shit to talk? <laughs> <laughs> Victoria Smith. I see her over at uh, Tony Lamont's. Tony Lamont getting some video footage up in here tonight. A little clip of him. Uh, but yeah, let's start out with an older uh, Rebel before we get into the deep stuff. Uh, okay, this was all Rebel, right. middle of the middle of maybe end of last week, marching around town talking his shit. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, y'all ready? Here we go. Beautiful day for the 
Lord's blessings to be poured on to these demonic demons because they can't play God in your life. If, you, if you've if you got to lie on people and you know, hate on people because you envy them and they live a better life than you because they've, you know, inherited the Lord's blessings. Rebels mad because I pointed out that he don't work for his own money. He just lives off his granddad and his dad's inheritance. Demonic demons are not fans of uh, good old, good old boys. Food for thought. Yeah, there's people out here. All kinds of people walking. New content stalking women as they walk around this loop. Families walking together. I don't think you know every time that I have to go to work. And that sounds like he's challenging somebody to call the FedEx warehouse in Kannapolis and find out. In fact, I know you don't. Had to be there too. All third shift, night times for sleeping, right? I'm up here to see Dale again. I know there's a lot of y'all out there that don't like Earnhardt. They hate God. They hate people that are better off than them. I live in my daddy's basement. My daddy got a, about a $400,000 house. Yeah, about a $400,000 house. Paid for. And got so much fucking room. One man don't need all that. And after I moved out of there, Moe's, that I'd moved in with my uh, dad. Dad's got a whole basement. I got that all to myself. Yeah, some would say that me and dad live like bachelors. Some might also say you don't know the value of a dollar, never done a hard day's work, had everything handed to you, live like a 44-year-old teenager, daddy does everything, include wipe your rebel ass, and what he don't do, mo' mommy does. But mo' mommy don't let you run her kids, does she? Some might say. What's your point? My point is you've gone past the point of being a man. You'll never grow up. You're just a bitch boy for life. <laughs> What's your point? Make it like it's a bad thing or something. Because I live in a basement at my dad's. A bunch of people say uh, that I was racist. <laughs> it's funny how them can uh, call up some black boys and uh, hang out with them. And then uh, some of you demonic demons can come in there and you don't like the color of the boy's skin and don't like how you can portray me as a racist when you can't. So the only thing you can hate on is somebody's carpet. Then you see me hanging with a black guy. Hell, why am I gonna go rent a damn carpet uh, cleaner and damn, it ain't even my damn carpet. Cause it damn sure ain't, it ain't mine. Do it look like a $400,000 home? And then to have a $400,000 home and then have a carpet looking like that, huh? I figure you don't know what it's like to live paycheck to paycheck, especially when you got uh, your daddy on six Rental houses. Yeah, why well, rent from your daddy when you can live in the basement like a loser? Risky, man. I remember you said your dad died and left you a whole damn shit ton of money. If you know something that you don't want people to know, don't tell Rebel. He'll give out your phone number, your address, anything. You'd be upset because your dad's dead. You know, the Bible said in the end days, families would turn on each other. You're witnessing it. Look at what these people in the workiverse are doing out here. I'm sure some of them was like, oh, hell. Not rebel hanging with a black country boy. It's just a country good old black southern boy. If I was wearing comfortable Crocs, you might have got offended. We gotta be the chosen one. Audrey, Square, uh, Ice, Gene, Bird, Army Vet. They're all chosen ones, right? It might just be me, but I'm thinking that the loop don't cross over the double yellow lines as many times as you're doing there, Colonel. God chose you. Some of the movies, though, black and white, there'd be some beautiful uh, white women. This guy's brain must have been real wet, or he'd have got up and busted Rebel upside his head. Shantae's uh, white, black, too. The boy like the white women. He probably married a white woman. Yeah, well, I mean, that's like me saying, I don't know why I didn't play ball. <laughs> Tell him about my crossover one more time. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He shot it. Dude, he, he shot it all damn days, right? Too hard. Dude, I <laughs> made 47 points all in threes on damn a lot of them in threes the damn uh just to get my team back. I wish we had it on video. I wish we had shit like that on video. <laughs> no, Will did a hundred that night. Chris, I know you. I know you did right. I no, you said forty-seven. That's when. That's when the uh, coach. That no, I want to believe you. That no, no, that's when the coach. I you no, know, I was on fire. It was like the arcade game. He's on fire. I love it. <laughs>
Coach, you remember the black guy that, that was coached at the Y? Oh, you're getting your brain wet. Oh, Rebel gets upset when people laugh at his line. They don't yeah. know about me, yeah, do they? Boy, it took this shit to <laughs> <laughs> You know me, so I'm a damn kid, oh, man. Well, he's a black no, southern out on country I'm, rebel. I'm strong. Oh, I'd be the white boy that's the only black fish fry. Yeah, I'd be the only white boy that's the only damn. You always sit on a fish fry. Peace. No, I wouldn't be a I'm going to tell you, you like, like, you you like, 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 Put me in. Hell, I was the reason why they damn switched from uh, metal lunch boxes to plastic lunch boxes. Don't you remember in elementary when I, you hit, you the, I hit the hell out that bait that dude in the head with that damn goose to have the lunch box? I did. <laughs> and then the next thing they had a recall, and the next thing you know, they were sending no plastic. More metal. plastic. Then got no that. more metal. No yeah, more metal. Yeah, that was costing me. Oh, you like to hear your rebel yell. <laughs> you were privileged to me. Culture though. In the rap songs, they always talking about how you can't reason to get in the black one. But you don't know Dom G. I told you, man, look up Dom G. Dom G. Dom G. Dom G. Dom G. And he got a free King Jump, but they from Houston, Texas. And they, they country rappers. Gene always like, oh boy, where my liquor? I don't need to rent a carpet cleaner. It ain't my damn carpet. I give two shits about this carpet, Petey. It ain't my carpet. Let me find. And that was the last thing that that guy was going to let him say. Stream ended there. Yeah, being ignored by the fake straight sinners. But at the same time. And they get offended. Crowd. That's high school shit. There it is. That's proof. <laughs> That's all the proof I need right there. He's not racist. Mm. Not racist at all. Uh -huh. I mean, the fact, the fact that he was sitting there calling that guy a black boy. <laughs> while he's sitting right there in front of him and didn't get the shit smacked out of him. That's proof right there to me that he's not racist. <laughs> oh, he changed God. lunch boxes forever and he's the reason that they stopped making metal lunch boxes, not because it was <laughs> cheaper or anything. But because they heard that uh, you know, he got up and got crazy with a metal yeah. lunch box in the middle of the lunchroom. <laughs> Now you can tell by looking at those pictures of him as a, as a teenager, you know, that he was definitely a, a you know, a ruffian. You know, you could tell. You yeah. Know, he wasn't no, he yeah, wasn't no but, pretty boy with that dimple in his chin posing in front of the, <laughs> you know, the stores or anything from uh, Hollywood. And 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 not uh, not that the guy even told him that he was pri he was privileged back then. <laughs> <laughs> the guy the guy started shutting him down on his bullshit, laughing in his face when he's like, forty forty seven points just to bring my team back in all three pointers." <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Thank you, buddy Foo Foo, for the super sticker. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Oh, he uh. And, oh. Now that I thought, I thought it was that guy's house, but it wasn't. And I didn't know. Hell, he said that you know we should have known because he went live there before yeah. here in a minute. He, he even tells he's like, now little buddy, you know, you recognize the stain on their carpet, and you know that it belonged to Mo's real daddy. Uh, that, that wasn't his. That was Mo's daddy. You remember the stain on that carpet, little buddy? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? He's so mad. I mean, here's he is proof positive that when a locale says, I don't watch their shit, they are absolutely watching their shit because oh, everything yeah. we say, he either discounts it or pro tries to prove us wrong or he does the Iceman switch, which is flip it around and use the same thing. No, you're a wet brain. <laughs> now, are, you get, are you getting your, your wet brain over there, Moses Heaps? Yeah, he's uh, he, listens, he watches everything. Oh, he's, screen, everything. he's screenshotting and using them in his, uh, you know, his little community posts and stuff. I mean, he's, he probably doesn't call Tater. Tater, they got you on the, they got you on the Moses and Rick show right now, Tater. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do it when you do his voice. I just can't do it. <laughs> Especially when you do the colonel. And you and Petey and Mustard Seed have, and, and Buddy and Feller have got him. Uh, oh, and just the littles, little me, when yeah. little me goes in there, y'all yeah. got him so twisted up. 
It's no, Petey. I don't need to get a carpet cleaner, Petey. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about it a week later. He was cussing Petey yeah. just the other night over the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's it exactly. Okay, Dardella. I know you are, but what about? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Decree mustard seed. That's what he your first mustard, <laughs> mustard seed. I had a panel for you. I had dropped the link for you, mustard seed. Where were you? <laughs> no one, uh, no one. Absolutely, that uh, there's no way that uh, he would have let mustard seed up. Um, a pig that can't fly would be a fat prostitute from chattanooga chattanooga is that right yeah, yeah. Well, anyway from tennessee uh who lives in a nest a fat bird prostitute that's who that is yeah. uh yeah <laughs> but uh he was crazy i can't i just can't believe he said well uh the black boys and I'm, I'm hanging god bless what in the hell is wrong with him <laughs> what is wrong with him everything is wrong with him yeah. Oh, and there's more. Oh, there's oh yeah, more yeah. That's what, uh, yeah. what. Who said that? Let me see. Yeah, buddy said he was just warming up for the other night. Yeah, that was just. Uh, that was just the first set. The fucking second set in the encore was uh, to die for. Even had a oh. guest come on panel. You know, even Square made an appearance. You know, it's going to be on when yeah. Square comes on there yeah. with his, his dab torch blazing in the background. I so I I came on to that one. I'd been out uh, at a haunted house and. I, when I did turn that one on, all I heard was that torch, and I thought somebody was smoking meth, because then I started hearing them talk to each other, and I was like, which one of them smoking meth? Because that's what it sounded like. <laughs> they had one of them torches. It was uh, Square with his dab torch. Just yeah, Square had the dab torch. And then later on that night, the Rebel and Mo about 4 o'clock in the morning, pulled out the plate, and you can hear the... Oh, yeah. <sighs> you can hear the choppy, choppy, yeah. sniff, sniff. Yeah, and uh, yeah. you know they did that at like four or five o'clock in the morning. Then he's up at nine o'clock in the morning. You know, four hours later, being like little square buddy. Now you knew that who that was backstage, and he didn't follow the rules and show his face, and you talked me into letting him on panel. And then I got porn bobbed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, uh, you want to go ahead and do the uh, the first set? Or the second set? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell, yeah. okay. let's get it started, get it going, because this, uh, this is this is primo milk right here. You don't want this yeah. shit to spoil. Okay, here we go, man. You know, we hang out with her daddy. No, but I can look it up. You want me to look it up? Tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? What's up, Mo? Hey. Mo, Mo, still in that same oh. chair. In the same chair, guys. <laughs> they thought they thought black boy that we was me and Rick went to his house. Like, look, there's that stain. Oliver Anthony's ass from Carolina, knowing good damn well Oliver's a Carolina rebel. And wrong again, rebel. He was born and raised, and still lives in Virginia. I like the damn rebel flag guitar and the chickens, and you had the parrot. Yeah. Where do you think the parrot come from, dude? I've been had the parrot. You didn't see that over at Rick Monroe's show. You know, certain items that pop up. Quit fronting, bud. Quit caption. Caption is, I mean, you remember the time Gene the damn and Bird had a damn in the bathtub community? But they're in the top 10, man. But they're never in the top 10. But they are. I thought then when once you doxed and you pulled up, that was gangster. You, you got me confused with somebody else, man. You're the one that tries so hard to damn, uh, you know, docks and damn don't pull up. What can be popping? Shotgun shells, fucking ARs, AKs. My brain's been dry all week. I didn't know my granny killed herself, man. Why use StreamYard? StreamYard because that's what everybody's been using since me and Seth and Tony had fucking started, like, really damn made it popular. And then, bam, next thing you know, all these motherfuckers started using it. Meanwhile, dude, I'm not the colonel. Oh, that's private oh, shit. No. Don't know you. You gonna show your face? But you never show your face. That's fine, man. You won't come up. <laughs> you know how they are, man. They, they porn bomb you and all kinds of shit. Oh, he lets me on. And he gets porn bomb too. Oh, shit. That's like damn Ruski talking about me earlier. Talking about, I didn't say Moses 
and Rick Sanchez and, and uh, Melissa could suck my dick. I didn't say that. The hell, I got the text message, man. You're not blocked. Why would you be blocked? Well, it ain't my fault. It's you too. Buddy, you remembered what the carpet stain looked like at the house. I make my own way. Ain't nobody gonna fucking support me. What the fuck? Rick and Moe's talking about me getting my damn... My stepdaddy wants to give that shit to charity. They don't even know. They don't know shit. Darkie's oh, cousin comes God. over, lived with his wife who was all on pills and shit and fucked up as hell. Well, I'm doing good now for myself. I got me a job. Got me a house. Rebel just can't understand why guys want to live with their wives and own a house. I fight on, on the internet with my cousin, but... Pictures on top of pictures. And it's cool when y'all do it, but it's a problem when I do it. Now you know political correctness, now. Now damn, your name is Little Buddy. Buddy, I'll teach him everything that I know. Damn, somebody come up, but damn, I don't know who that is. I put mayonnaise and mustard in my damn potato salad. I could call myself Little Rebel Fella right now. That was in support. It's now your line. I'll get you the hell out of here. But he, he mentioned Rick Sanchez and Moses, didn't he? In he that shit. No, he, no, he said, I told him he was still making the top 10. He said they can suck my dick and you too. And then he was like, you can suck my dick. Well, he's the only person that's got the dick. Oh, oh, she said he's the only person that's got a dick. What's that mean, Rebel? Yeah, Ruski's always up books his ass. They both get the ass licked and oh, damn kids. I breathe views and everyone knows. See that, Ruski, man? We got text messages. They're saying that you had a video of mustard screwing me and you posted a phone number. Go to the uh, statue, see her uh, heart. It'll get you hate, man. You know, your friends like little uh, Rick Monroe don't like them, Earnhardt. Oh, where did you find him? Why does he get so goddamn mad then? If it ain't him. He don't like that big fat whore bird. He don't like that big fat whore bird. I'm not a cop. I'm not a racist. I'm not a clansman. Yeah, he may not be a cop, but he's probably the other two. And like, I'm a complete drunk. I'm a test tube baby. Shit, until I damn call that damn store and hear. There's rolling. Speak on the phone. I won't believe Word. it. I don't believe it. Even Mo knows he's docs the wrong person. Roadhead and Bird are the only fools that believe it. I don't believe that fucking Rick Monroe is Moses to put their family with their babies. That's shit. what Buddy did. This put, is what the outlaws told me. He told her the outlaws told him. Yeah, <laughs> y'all know good damn well, Mo ain't no roasty girl. Rebel trying hard to distract from that one. Let me up, boy. Do you think you think Rick Moses lets me on nerves? No. I go in their chat, they all shoot me down. How do you make that picture? Hey, bring Joe, bring Joe up, man. I'm not letting them up when I don't know who they are. Rebel, I know who he is. He just don't show his face. It's about time you bring me up here, and I don't, I don't block me either, cause I'm gonna be respectful here. I want to know why you doxing the yeah why you doxing why you doxing the wrong person you doxing the wrong person you doxing the wrong person you give Square's number out when Square he gave your number out today that he that you just he said you just give it to him yesterday or the day before some bitches are scared of the truth and that one blocked me right away bro really rebel really bro your mic's muted he knows his mic muted. Look, dude, my mic wasn't muted. All you're doing is taking Square's damn shit, so get you the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God, so much. First of all, did he say, when he was talking about he said, uh, they thought me and Rick went to this house, to his house. Rick who? Rick Monroe? Rick Sanchez? Uh, the, the Ricky and Ricky James. Uh, see, I didn't oh, know. Okay. I, he didn't, he don't realize that like, he had the phone sitting down there hiding it so that the guy couldn't tell that he was recording him. So I couldn't even see Rebel or uh, Moe's daddy in the house, you know, so hell, I didn't, I didn't yeah. recognize the carpet like he thinks that we should have, <laughs> you know. You, everybody recognizes the stain in daddy, Moe's daddy's carpet. <laughs> what about the parrot? So when in the hell did he ever I, use a parrot? Never seen him with a parrot. You ain't never, never seen him with no damn parrot. Never. And when he said, uh, well, a quick caption. 
<laughs> Can we catch it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just like Durkee, he just makes up his own words. You know, this sounds close enough. Like a quick <laughs> caption, caption that, caption. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That when you when you uh, went on uh, and showed that picture of Mo, God, she's looking bad. Her eyes were yeah. so swollen, and yeah. like her 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 face was real gaunt looking. Like she's but but bloated. It's. She looked like her face was bony and bloated at the same time. It was the weirdest look. Oh yeah, my gosh! Hopefully she. I mean, you can't catch the what what uh, rebels got, but yeah. yeah I mean, they they looking bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Pimp uh, Square said that he knew who who I was, and I was in the back chat raising all kinds of hell. So he may have. I don't know. He may have recognized that hat that I had up there, you know, because I've used it on here as a joke, but. He really just wanted yeah. to know who gave out his phone number because I was posting his phone number in the back chat. Too. <laughs> and uh, the rebel stopped reading it, you know, a couple after. And and plus, Joe is his granddad, too. And I had his granddad's yeah. picture up backstage, too. So that might, <laughs> might have been the reason he stopped reading my messages. <laughs> well, and then um, he... Uh, that just got it started, too. Head. I mean, that, yeah. that just kicked it off, oh, too. Yeah. The second half, the second half is fantastic. When he said, uh, or uh, Mo kept saying, he don't like that big fat whore bird. He don't like that big fat whore bird. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And let me tell you, she she knows now. She and she's got to. I mean, I've told her two or three times now, and he's yeah. blocked her two or three times now. She's you know she's typing away thinking people can see her. And, then all of a sudden she realizes, you know, that nobody's responding and she looks on his phone and they can't see it, you know. Yeah. She's like, why you got me blocked? It's because he gets on there and he chats in the morning while she's at work. You know, he's on there chatting at late at night, early in the morning with Mandria. Yeah. And uh, yeah. that's a that's a topic of the second part, too, that causes them to get into another fight. I mean, it's just a matter of time before the cops are pulling up <laughs> in the middle of one of these things. I mean, but I think Blasey <laughs> said, you know, this is like a cops episode just waiting to happen. It is. And she said that he told her that the outlaws told him that you were Rick Monroe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, you know, after she, when she started saying all that stuff, it makes me think that uh, not just, you know, his dad and his, his sister and stuff, but Mo probably also has something to do with him taking all that stuff down. Oh, oh you know, well, he didn't take it down. He yeah. got hacked. You know, he says he got hacked and oh, somebody yeah, took yeah. it all. Somebody down. took it all off there. <laughs> now, who was she talking about? Was it Ruski that said, uh, uh, yeah. that Mo said, you, you're making the top tens and he said, we can all suck his dick? Is that, was that yeah. it? Is it yeah. Ruski? Yeah. 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 But yeah. Yeah. There's things going on that will be revealed uh, eventually here with Ruski because it's still, it's still ongoing. Like, I couldn't believe yeah. that this stuff's still ongoing with Ruski and it may be a, a something yeah. I have to post privately, you know, for the members to, to kind of spread around, but uh, we're getting to it after his head drum. Yeah. It wears out, but yeah. So what happened was she's a Ruski girl and uh, rebel took her phone and blocked a bunch of people over in Ruski's chat and uh, oh, gave wow. out Ruski's and gave out Ruski's phone number. Uh, Rebel oh, did. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So Ruski and Rebel are kind of fighting. They're fighting about like him and Square do. You know, so they offer each other a panel that they can't. They can't stop uh, themselves. They'll jump they up on that motherfucker. Uh. They can't. It's. It's. I, I don't know if it's because they have Aspergers and they just can't. Um, it's like a, a obsession or a compulsion yeah. with them. Andrea's the same but, way. She was on there last can't. night. Just them, her and Ruski talking about how much they hate each other, you know, but they can't <laughs> stop being on panel, you know. They they got to yeah. hear their they got to hear yeah. their own voice. But I, it was pretty cool that Square was playing along. I mean, it, it, it part of me thinks he was playing along, and part of me thinks that like he thought he was playing along, but he wasn't. You know, like he thought he knew yeah. more than than he did. But oh, uh, yeah, he Mo just wanted is to a know. Strange one, buddy. Mo is a I strange think, one for sure. I think Square just wanted to know how much information he had put out there. You know, he wanted to get me yeah. up on the panel. Oh, Maybe and just real there. quick, just real quick. So I'm going to drop this link right here. And uh, this is for uh, Rebel, since he says that we yeah. won't ever let him come up on our panel. Absolutely. Come on up. Yeah. You are, He's you not are blocked welcome either. At all He's time. never nope. been blocked. He lied nope. about that. Yep. And we know you're watching, Rebel. You are Mo. So, Mo, it's probably you. Mo, go get Rebel out of the bedroom with Tater or 
uh, get him, you know, get him. He's watching. He changes. He changed his his channel's avatar as we started. Like he's on there right now. He's oh on yeah. YouTube. Oh okay. Yeah. yeah. So Mo, go take his crayons and his uh his GI Joe figures away and tell him come on up. This <laughs> there's the link for him to hit and uh, fucking GI Joe. She don't know shit. <laughs> fucking eighteen Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> GI hey, Joe. Uh, that that link's good there for uh, Rebel, uh, Gene. If you want to come on up, a uh, Square, Durky. We know you're watching. Come on, yeah, link. yeah. Where are you at, yeah. Durky? Yeah, come on. Get Durky. Little, come on up here and talk yeah. your shit, boy. I won't yeah. hack you too hard. Any of y'all come in the chat, you're not blocked, and we will let you up immediately. And and it'll just be me and Moses. And I'll even drop down if you want me to. But yeah, 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 definitely, Duckery, definitely here. Durkey's here and Rebels here. Both of them are here. They're yeah. watching as we speak, live yeah, and, yeah. and uncut. They're here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, sure. We better. I guess since we started it, we better go ahead and finish it out. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's right, Dickie. Dickie. Come on, Rebel. We dropped the link. Pull up. Pull yeah. up, Rebel. Come on. Since that's what y'all think it's all about is pulling up on a panel. Come on, buddy. Come yeah. on. Come on, little Rebel, buddy. We got yeah, you. the big black dummy. That's right. Filthy. That, yeah. He want, yeah. He'll come through here and put his little mad faces up, too. I got something coming for him later, too, when the lightning strikes. He'll know. <laughs> <laughs> all right well we better watch this we better watch this last part then since <clears throat> they finish it out uh y'all get ready this is the best let me get over here yeah this, this is, the, is best the best part this is the best part here we go so get you the hell out of here <laughs> out of respect for square i mean shit but i gotta go piss what happened put my shit in the milk jug oh my god dude oh my god really a uh, square says he somebody. Buddy, is. he's got a asshole. Well, that makes sense. How are they porn vomiting? Is that bird? Because I am the porn. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Bye, buddy. I thought it went bye, buddy, bye, buddy, bye, buddy. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> you should have already known as soon as you kicked out Petey that his damn uncle would have damn come. Rick Monroe. Oh. Look, mom's diseased vagina. Look, I'm going to get you the fuck out of here. <laughs> this stream and its five viewers really picked up steam. That was I'm just most, saying, I, man. I, didn't know I don't know most. how brain you're wet. Your brain is wet. You think these people are hating on us now? Wait till the damn we damn fucking hang out. <laughs> damn. Look, see what I mean? We got JM over here. <laughs> God damn, dude. You're past your bedtime. Night time yeah. for sleeping. My son killed me. My son worthless junkie. There's Petey again. Get him out of here. Petey made Rebel do more work than he's done all year. But I used to be cool when I was damn at Tony's before damn Moses. I'm like, I, dude, I never strike nobody. It was you. That we trolled them. Rebel tries to be slick and say it was Square that struck Tony just because it was Rebel on Square's channel that did it. Me and you together trolled them and led them believe I strike everybody. What happened to your channel? I was laying here one night and most sheep started lying. Wet brain operation is a success. They they wanted to push me away and did you lose it? Like I told you, if you wanted it, you can, you're more than welcome to have it. I don't know how to get it back. But yeah. I had uh, had my third strike. Metallica ain't got shit to do with them getting a copyright. It's your ads. Put it together like you new kids do. What are you copyright talking strike. about? Because that's what Mo said like two years ago. I think I've noticed from the Rick and Mo show they just want to build people up, tear them down. Yeah, you can't trust them. <laughs> God damn. Can you turn that black music? I don't like it. Dabs of the square. <laughs> Me and you and Durky get hate. Well, at least you realize all three of y'all are on the same fucking level. I get hate, hell. There's <laughs> ain't got to give a shit about y'all stupid community. They can be happy, peaceful fucking people. I ain't got to deal with y'all shit. But they're upset. Man, Petey. They're obsessed. They are. You don't know how many times Petey's coming in, dude. I'll have his back till the end of time. 
He was just making fun of him before he got on the panel. Her mom and daddy were hippies. I don't need to fucking give a bad shit about the fucking hippies. I know about hippies. Uh, getting her riled up. My mom Damn. and daddy were fucking hippies. <laughs> about none of y'all. Andrea, Andrea gives a shit about us. So she really... Nobody gives a shit about me. You having a moment of clarity yet, Mo? Is it coming to you why he has to block you on here? He likes Mandria. And like you said, he don't give a shit about you. Don't hate what you don't you, know. You fucking talk about it like you've been watching, watching it because you talk on my three last three months. The same shit like a soap opera. You can catch up 20 years later on freaking The Young and the Restless. Yeah, it's all entertainment. If it's all entertainment to you, why do you keep saying what kind of bullet you're going to put in me? Petey's sitting there like a demonic demon, pissed off over hanging out with a black man. You might sub up the people while you got my phone and on my... No, they've been lying. Remember when we went live and got a hundred damn uh people in the chat? That must have been before you and Seth and Tony taught everybody how to stream yard. Yeah, Harley yeah. did send a pussy pick for you all people know it could have been skin. damn army vets. Yeah. What I know and heard about Carrie... She used to make Iceman all kinds of sandwiches. And that's all I know about that. Uh, you down that with this it. shit, brother? What up? Brother, we gonna stop by KFC and get some of them uh, mashed potatoes. You know them taters that grandma used to fry? Oh, yeah, them fried mashed potatoes like Granny and KFC make. You gonna go? Durkey Jr. here trying to make a quick buck says that hat's worth a hundred. Even bent in half like that. But, uh, hey, I'm going to pass that down to you, brother, but don't you sell it, all right? Now, cool, Dirk, he's doing giveaways now. If anything, you pass it down to Junior, and if I wanted to, I, I get a, I damn get a hundred bucks out that motherfucker on eBay. I mean, I feel like I'm watching a Dirkie stream right now. He's played on the, on the, uh, remember that now. Uh, he pointed the phone away. They've got a plate out now. She's unzipping something. They may be doing him up a shot or something. Who knows? But take, I'd say. Uh, I've heard the sound of a line being chopped before. That was it. Mo was telling me earlier that damn, if y'all go to Rick and Moses, all they do is gang up on her and call her a fat hooker. Like, I don't get that. There's a lot of skinny guys. Get that dick wet in damn big women. You wish you could drink and hang out and fuck, Mo. I know Taylor, he'll come up with them. He'll be like, take me out to fuck. Get me out the house. God almighty. God almighty. And it's all about my dick. Then I jump on the panel with Square, and I ain't even put my dick in it. How damn I'd rather you shave your pubes before I get down on my knees sucking on it. And I'm like, what the fuck is down with a little jean, with a trainee? Yiggity yak, don't talk back. God almighty. I put mayonnaise and mustard in my damn potato salad. <laughs> Where you at? <laughs> God almighty. I put mustard and mayonnaise in my potato salad. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, that was fucking incredible. My favorite part is when he, when he reads all those, all the he comes in there and he's like, My son's a junkie, kill me, his son's a junkie. Well, there's Petey, Petey's back. And he's like, Mom's diseased vagina, you're out of here, Petey. <laughs> well, Square's sitting right there next to me. Oh my god. Oh, my favorite part is when Buddy did the porn bomb and uh, Square said, is that bird? Because <laughs> it was bird. He recognized that immediately. He saw that polyp was like, he's got a bird. Is that bird? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Oh, and when he whispers to Square, he goes, oh, I, I swear, buddy, I like to get around up the way Moses Heaps and Rick Sanchez like to get us round up. <laughs> oh, my I'm surprised God. she didn't smack a shit out of him. I mean, she she even told him, you know, she's like, they, you know, they're just trying to have fun. You know, they're not all upset. They're obsessed. They're obsessed. She's like, yeah, they're obsessed. They are. They are. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I put mustard in my potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. That was great. I'm telling you what. And and he uh oh 
He was so mad the next day. <laughs> well, he wasn't so mad. It was, he, he had, but you could tell he had thought about it all night. Because that was the first yeah. Now, little square buddy, you know the rules. You know the rules. You, you, I pulled him up there. And then when they broke that plate out, oh, my oh, God, it was so, yeah. uh, just like blatant. You know? Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, he, they, he done like, he'd been live for about six hours, you know. And this was about four o'clock. He done called Tater and set up a, a big meeting. They were going to meet at 10 o'clock and head to Mayberry. You know, he's, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's all of a sudden, he's like, we'll go, we'll go to Mayberry and I'll, I'll go see Barney. You know, Barney, he's got a bullet. Uh, he, he got a, he, you know, Otis, he gets his, he gets his brain wet. We go. We go to Mayberry. It's in North Carolina. Uh, I've seen the show. It's a, it's a real place. I go, it's not Hollywood. <laughs> well, and he said that we call Mo a fat hooker. We've never one time called Mo a fat hooker. Bird's the fat hooker. He called Bird a fat hooker. Not did he Mo. say Mo? I thought I thought yeah. he said Mo. no. He, he said, said he said that Mo told her and told him that. He oh, said, okay. Mo said it all they do over there, you know, because he don't watch. Mo has to tell him, right? Yeah, <laughs> he said most of it, all they do is gang up over there called Bird a fat hooker. He's like, I don't, I don't, well, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know, I don't know why they they say that about Bird. Uh, yeah. There's that link again, uh, Rebel. Hit it, hit it. Come on up here. Explain yourself, sir. Explain why you uh t t got Mo mad by saying that Andrea gives a shit about you in Square. Why did you feel it necessary when your old lady is already mad at you to bring up the fact that, well, Andrea gives a shit about us? I mean, why? Just do it. So there's the link. But you know, oh, yeah. you, talked, you talked about them going to Mayberry, and that's not the first time that he's had ideas about going somewhere, you know? No, no, he's a. Uh... Bird loves that black cock. What? Yes, Bird loves that black cock so much. <laughs> He's Man, backstage. did you hear these backstage, backstage saying that? <laughs> yeah, you know he and he had, they don't have uh, many videos on his uh, channel now since he took all the ones down about me. You know he's down to about five or six. So when they went to Mayberry, you know he posted the uh, they went to Wally's filling station. He loved that shit. Oh, yeah. he went to oh, a place yeah. called Wally's. You know he loved that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then uh, they, you know they, if you don't know. Uh, Mount, Mount Airy, North Carolina is where Andy Griffith was from. And uh, they never filmed anything there. That's just where he, he grew up at and based right, right. You know, the, fi the fictional town Mayberry on it. And really none of the courthouse or none of that stuff looks or anything like anything like Mayberry. I, right. I've been there. Right. Uh, yeah. there, was a, there was a Floyd that had a barber shop there. And uh, I met him. He he died not uh, well. He died probably ten, fifteen, maybe longer than that years ago. But he used to do uh, you know he'd sign autographs and stuff. But it, it wasn't. It's still even that barbershop didn't look nothing like that. There's a little place called Snappy Lunch that they mentioned one time in the show, and uh, they get some traffic you know from tourists. And you can go over there and ride around in a replica car that they have. You know that yeah. looks like the, yeah. the Galaxy uh, police car and. They've got a, a fake uh, courthouse set up where you can go in, you know, that looks like the set, you know. But right, really right. all the stuff from the real Mayberry was all trash. Like they can't find uh, Barney's uh, gun or a lot of the props and stuff were just lost. You know, back then they didn't care. The end of the show, they just threw that shit away. Yeah. yeah. All it is, you know, there's a replica and they just get tourists there. But dumbass, he thought <laughs> that it was real and he thought they were going to the scene, to the set. You know, he's probably, hell, he's probably over there looking for Barney. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Dirk, you tell him, you know, Barney's from West Virginia. He'd tell him. Yeah, he would tell him he was from West Virginia. But he loaded up Tater and he got Mo and yeah. they went to Mayberry. You know, he was proud of that shit. Yeah, a but, little uh, road trip over to Mayberry. Yeah. Yeah, I, but I, there's I other heard, places that he's been wanting to go to, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I heard that uh, he'd actually, like, made a community post and took it down immediately, and it had yeah. some of those places on there. Uh, but do you remember yeah, how he, many how many of those places there were? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good yes, one. Yes, I did. Good segue. Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, just so happened, there's 10 places that he was uh, wanting to take a road trip. 
<laughs> but he, you know, he don't realize these are fictional locations, but he's still going. You know, he, he's going. Yeah, these are the top absolutely. ten commandments. <laughs> like number ten, he's going to Gotham City to sit in the Batmobile. <laughs> the rebel, the rebel got to send the, the General Lee. Send the General Lee. A uh, rebel, a rebel sit in the in the the, the, the bandit. Rebel got a rebel got a, a bandit. Got a friend that owns a bandit. I pretend like it's mine. I said, "A damn Batmobile! Don't give a fuck." Pull up in a Batmobile. <laughs> Number nine. We got a fucking bedrock. I hang out with Barney. You know Barney Rumble. Barney Rumble over the filthy the Barney Rumble on the the filthy animal with the rebel Rumble. Barney. <laughs> That's about the way he fucking talks, too. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. Filthy on the party from <laughs> Oh, my God. Number eight. I go to McDonald Land. I'm going to do some. I'm going to stump for the Trump McCheese ticket. 2024 Trump McCheese. <laughs> They run it on the, the rebel party. Let me hear you, rebel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me and, and Mo went on our first date down to the, down to, you know, I talked to the mayor McCheese and we went back to, to Mike's and sung some karaoke. That's when I, that's when I made, that's when I made Mo the, the queen of Mike's double wide trailer with the karaoke machines and the Donald Trump flag. He talks just like he says, with the karaoke. <laughs> it's just so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, one place I've been willing to go to is number seven, uh, these Fraggles, you know, at Fraggle Rock. Uh, they got they work 30-minute work weeks. Uh, yeah. they, just, they work for 30 minutes, and the rest of the week, they just get their brain wet. They dance. They sing. They sing some, some karaoke. They, they play around in the rocks. Like rebels, it should be like a rebel fraggle, rebel rebel rock. That's all that is. They stole that. They stole that from me. I came up with that. Rebel fraggle. Where do you think they got that shit? God Almighty. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. God damn. God damn. <laughs> Mo, look this up. Where the hell's Fraggle Rock? Let's go. <laughs> I'll show that fucking Monroe son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Number six. <laughs> They're going to Springfield, North Carolina, and they gonna get a job working at the power plant, third shift, two to five. <laughs> you don't know when the graveyard shift is? I hate to I hate to tell you, two to five, the graveyard. I've worked it my my whole life. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Work for Mr. Oh, Burns. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know Mr. Burns. Yeah, yeah, we work at the, at the power plant. So what? What's it fucking to you? I so what, Petey? So what, Petey? I work for Mr. Burns. So what? You think, think I can't work at a power plant? What's it to you? Looking jealous. <laughs> number five, this would be a good one. They go number five, they're going to the Emerald City of Oz. So you can yell at the horse of many colors. <laughs> I know one goddamn color you don't turn. Yeah, the rebel, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me, I'll tell you, call me racist. Fucking horse turned fucking black. It turned fucking green, blue, red, pink. Then it turned black. That's what it's turned fucking black. Yeah. And who's the fucking racist now? God. God almighty. <laughs> oh, my God. God. That's better than goddamn, I swear to God. <laughs> I put I mayonnaise and mustard in my tater salad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I was listening to that. He, he said that. I was like, I got to go back and clip that out special right there. God, man. I was like, God almighty. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, God. I tell you where we're going. I'm going to go to number four. Oh, this son of a bitch! I had him wrenched up. I'm going to Orbit City. <laughs> Pull up on that son of a bitch, George Jetson. He had a fucking wrench in my chat for the longest time, so motherfucker. <laughs> He's so mad at the Jetsons because of all those Jetsons. I wonder who those people are. <laughs> He had so many um, Jetsons. It was crazy. The whole damn family was in there. the Jetsons. <laughs> he did. The whole. I think even Rosie the Robot showed up at one point or something. I don't yeah, know. It was crazy. Yeah, so the Astro, Craziness. all of was there. <coughs> i tell you where I want to go. I want to go to number three. I'm going to Quahog, Rhode Island, to hang out with the old, <laughs> hang out with the old black boy. Old black boy, Cleveland Brown. Rebel, yeah! <laughs> Hate now. Oh hate, hate now, people. <laughs> Demonic it's demons so hate it. <laughs> you hate it when I hang out with the old black boy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, you got real close to him. Hey, get with him. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Cause that's what he'll do. He'll be all out and stuff. Yeah, what do you think about that? I'm gonna hang out with the old black boy. That's <laughs> so fucking yeah. creepy. <laughs> yeah, he'll do it in the middle of a bar. It don't matter. He'll do it right in front of their face. <laughs> okay. But he makes sure that they can't hear him. He just yeah, really yeah. He makes sure everybody else hears him. Just not. It's not them. <laughs> oh my god. Terry, where he's going? Uh, number two. This will be good if we get this on tape. <laughs> He's going to Arlen, Texas, because Boomhauer understands him. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm talking about a dang old going down to rebel, talking about dang old rebel, man. He'll talking about old dang old wet brain. Take about dang old go back there and old karaoke. Talking about you know dang old dang old bear. You know, talking about old Mike and Hank, man. Go, man. Oh my God. <laughs> you sounded like both of them at the same time. I don't even know how you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he did it. I really don't. Oh man, I'm oh talking about God. dang on hang out down here, dang on Tater and Bobby. No man, I'm about no going back our cell down with propane, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> These have been the top ten fictional places that Rebel's going to take a road trip to next. Number one. I'm going to go to that damn bikini bottom and get my brain wet with old Bob. The brain keeps it. Bob, Bob, the brain, he keeps it. How's your, how's your, how's your wet brain, Bob? Huh? Huh? How, how brain is you? How brain is your wet brain? And the, the, the bikini brain of the, of the bottom, Bob. Oh, my God. It sounded like he was really here. He must have been backstage or something. He said that shit. He said, how brain is your wet brain? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This was great. Oh, that was uh, Moses' top 10 commandments. Rebels next road trip to fictional locations. <laughs> you can't tell me that he is not prime locale. I mean, <laughs> I'm just, I don't care what you say. You yes. get him. Oh he is God. nothing but him, Durkee, and Square. They said it. You know, he even said it. Yeah. Yeah, they want to make fun of me, you, and Durkee, and Square. I'd like to know why. <laughs> yeah. God damn. <laughs> God, God almighty. God almighty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You've got to just, you have to make that a clip. God, oh my. I put mustard and mayonnaise in my tater salad. <laughs> oh my God, what he was talking about. You going to shave that shit before I go down there on my knees? I thought yeah. I was just, just oh, I'm telling you what. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that was right before he done it, right after he done his line and ended it. 
He was saying all that sexual stuff. He said, uh, oh, they're all jealous because they just want to come over here and get their brain wet, get drunk and fuck mo. <laughs> what the hell? Good oh, Lord. Oh, it's great. There, 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 oh, there's, mom's, there's mom's disease vagina. Get him the fuck out there. Fuck <laughs> Petey back. <laughs> and that's what he would do. He would, a, a mom's disease vagina. He read every single one of them. Yeah. My son's a junkie. Kill my, kill my son. The junkie got AIDS. <laughs> up <and> there's Petey. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, that was great. That was great. <laughs> well, well, we're gonna go. I guess straight I for one. You, what? Well, I tell you what happened is, uh, I mean, making these these videos. You know, I'm sitting here ready to, to do a dirt dab or put it together, and then he'll go live. You know, it's like they he knows these locales know when I'm getting ready to work on something. Yeah. Because I have to, st I've only got one damn phone, you know, and that's my, I make my videos and do my recorded yep. everything on everything one phone. On one so phone. Yep. if he goes live, you know, I have to stop what I'm doing and just sit there and listen to it, you know, so yeah. Yeah. mess around with him in the chat, you know, while I'm, while I'm recording him. But, I, uh, I just don't see how you do it. I really don't. I mean, that's it drives me. Crazy. It drives me fucking crazy. You know, I have to listen to that for them two or three hours. And then when it gets done, I get to go back and put together, you know, Durky and wade through it and pick out the funny shit you know yeah yeah but uh one place that you can go to on a on a monday or a friday you can go over yeah. to tony and longhouse lamans and you don't have to worry yeah. about that you can make a request they'll yeah. play your song you can uh, dedicate it you know yeah uh, a lot of cool people in the chat it never yeah. really too many too many you know it ain't like you know it ain't flying over there you know you can get a song in there and get it heard within 15 minutes or so yeah, and yep. Uh, Tony, he's been known to get his brain wet, you know, and and Rebel hates him for some reason. I, I think because oh, absolutely yes, Rebel and him used to be friends, and you know he wants Tony, you know, to go back to making fun of people and being yeah. a racist and shit like that, you know. And yeah. Tony's like, no, nah, I ain't gonna do it. No, but uh, I went well, over there Friday and I clipped a little bit of him. Okay, well let's do it. Yeah, because Tony. Tony's having a good time. That's what it's all about. You know, yeah. we, we said it on the show last week. I'm going to say it again. I'm probably going to say it every show. Um, yeah. People need to quit taking this so seriously and go back to having fun. It's hey, just, Mo's over it's, there. Mo's in there all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And she's there because she wants to have a good time. Yeah. And that's what it's about is having a good time. And if you want to have a good time, go over to the Longhouse. Hang out yeah. for a minute. You'll get your song played. You'll ain't nobody love. trolling, nobody fighting. Right, I mean, I'm in there, right. but I ain't trolling nobody, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like the chat here. It's kind of like everybody yeah. just kind of like leaves their knives at the door and just comes on in and, and hangs yeah. and chills and listens to some music. You might get lucky and Tony might bust a move. Who knows? But let's watch oh, this yeah. clip you got together here. All right. Here we go. Miss Mary, you're the only girl in the world that is allowed in any relationship. I love it. Mary Jane is so great. She's a great woman. <laughs> oh, my dear God. Roland said, you're done. Run, Tony. Run. <laughs> oh, my. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> the cherry bomb is burning the very end of a screwdriver. <laughs> Right, burning, burning the end of a screwdriver. And when I look at her, she just looks up at me out the top of her glasses. She's a professional glass wearer. So it's like this. I'm not a professional glass wearer. I wear it because I can't see when I'm drunk. So I looked over, I seen her. All I saw was two hands working together. <laughs> Yeah, I've never seen two hands working together over here with a lighter. So I'm like, what's she doing? Holy shit. But Ray, right, right. No, no, right. 
What are you doing? Oh, damn. Fuck, Ray. You done took over. Now they got to stare at your big old nose and your chest and your chain and your little damn Ray. What do I do? She's a bully. I had to edit out the music, you know. I got I got to pick yeah, spots where there's no yeah. where there's no music in the background too. So yeah, that's why it's, it's, it's kind of yeah. quiet. It's usually music twenty four seven, but when it gets quiet, you know, I, and I'll try to talk him into like hitting the bong when it's quiet too. But yeah, yeah. Well, and, and it's just fun, you know. He's just having a good time. It pisses yeah. Rebel off so bad that a Tony's having fun and a good time, and b everybody's over there chilling with Tony and just like. Yeah. You know, that makes him so mad. Rebel, go over to go over to the Longhouse. Come in the chat. Chat it up. We're still going to make videos about you. We're still going to probably pick on you, but we won't over there. And maybe maybe you'll, like, simmer down a little bit. Or maybe you'll, uh, I don't know. I said simmer down because Christy G said she's going to simmer down. But, you know, thank you, Methadone for Life. Appreciate you, sir. But, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rebel just needs to chill out. Come on over to the Longhouse. Yeah. Uh, you know, Tony even though he's, he's, and he's Tony let him in there too. I mean, uh, it, he he struck Tony. You know, he he went on Square's channel that night, and right on the damn screen, you see him strike. You know, Tony and says, "Let's see him. Let's see him play their damn music now with the fucking copyright." You know, he said, "Yeah, I reported yeah. him. I reported him." And then he's tell Square last night. He's like, "We trolled him to death to, to make him think that we that you you reported him, Square. It wasn't me because he done it on Square's <laughs> channel, you know." Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, oh, uh, he is ugh, awful, awful. But uh, uh, should we? I think we need to go into our next uh, big thing that we got here is uh, some call outs, I believe. Yeah, I was trying to, I was trying to saw somebody here. Billy said that there. Yeah, let me, yeah. <laughs> I see where Durkey call it, calling you out. I laughed hardcore. But I'm, I haven't seen it yet. So Moses dabbed it. And uh, first of all, I just want to tell you, Moses, uh, fantastic work on these dabs. I, you, we've gotten, more people have come and started watching the show because of the dabs. There's yeah. people who... There's people who didn't know anything, didn't even know there was a Durky verse. I was, no. um, I was uh, watching somebody in one of the other uh, that TTC community or whatever it is, and um, anyway, they were um, they were talking, and one of the people said something about the Durky verse, and they were talking. Oh, have you ever seen that movie, The Wild and Wonderful Whites? And they were talking about everything, and the guy said. Uh, the guy said, yeah, have y'all seen that, that channel on YouTube that does the, the dabs thing? And I sit and watch those, and they crack me up. And it really is. They're fantastic. But uh, you've, you've definitely, pe like, you've gotten Turkey's attention. If that was your end goal, goal achieved. Goal achieved, man. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. That's, the, that's the hard part right there is, like, this one's, uh, I think it's like a 10-minute dab that we split up into two fives, you know, tonight, but. It's mm -hmm. it's like an uh, hour and forty minutes of uh, yeah. of him of a stream, you know, and you got to sit there and wade through all that same shit that he, you know, he goes through his baseball cards and when he pulls out that guitar, it's pretty good because I can just skip all that shit because I've heard all that so right. many times, you know, and I can just about yeah. tell I just about tell yeah. when he's going to cuss, you know, and go ahead and bleep that shit out, but uh, yeah, and like me, but and hell, and now now that he's calling my name out, you know, it makes it a little better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because like me and Hag can like watch him and, and give you timestamps and say, oh, okay, he said this, but you're the one that finds the funny stuff. Like a lot of the shit that you find for these dabs, I skipped over that when I was watching the live, you know, so yeah, yeah. it's crazy, but he's he's mad. You've got him mad. You've got him big mad. <laughs> You've got him, I mean, just, oh, he's going to get he's, you. I mean, yeah. He's convinced that I've, he's convinced that I've got control of his accounts and stuff now, too. <laughs> <laughs> well he's probably watching right now i'm sure he's watching right now oh yeah he's watching yeah, he's watching yeah. last time we as soon as the show ended he went live to cuss us out yeah <laughs> as soon as it and was over Durkey, <laughs> yeah Durkey, you're on the right track you're not going to find out his identity or where he's at 
but he most definitely has control of your accounts. It's 100%. <laughs> I mean, it's everything you think Moses is doing to your phone and your YouTube and your Facebook. He's doing that plus more. Everything, every bit of it. It's it's not, you know, this at this time, it's not your brain playing tricks on you. It's um, it's the I've truth. Hacked, it really I've hacked is. that too. I hacked his brain too. <laughs> well, set us up with this first one. I mean, there ain't no more setting up to it. I mean, he just goes live and rants. I mean, that's what he's doing. And just about every every stream now, he's giving something away, supposedly. Yeah, you know? okay, here we go. It's already been returned to him a couple times, supposedly. <laughs> show me your fingers. Show me your happy fingers. Let me see your butterflies. Ooh. What's that one's name? Uh, Moses. That's not a f***ing dumber and a bunch of rocks. Dad, dirt, dirt, dad, or something. Take my fingers out. My fingers right there. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Here, lay it somewhere. This little guy's so scared to talk on the internet that he has to carry a water gun in his mommy's trailer. You, you, blow your ass off. There ain't one bitch in Boone County be getting my attention, okay? Not one. Travel back with me, if you will, in the Mudstain time machine, 24 hours ago. Well, there's only one that catches my attention, like I said. And she's actually from Boone County. I wouldn't take these nasty ass hoes. Your dick about to rot off your body and you're gonna die? No dick. Dickless. <laughs> you know me. I'm just folding up so much shit. There's certain shirts I don't fold. Because that's your mama Bo's job. High as gas prices. Let's go, Brown. <clears throat> Seems most mentally challenged kids have trouble keeping their clothes on. What I love. To put into perspective how frail this little guy is, compare the size of that waistband to the size of his bicep. About the same. No, Billy is my brother, not you. That's a good thing, though. You know what I mean, bro? You know what I mean, bro? You know what I mean? 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 Stay bleached, bitch. Get on the ground. Look at that beam on that man. I think he's reenacting the Billy shootout. Oh, I'll blind that damn possum and blow it 30 feet off to you. <laughs> You wouldn't think that the dump could get much dumpier, but he is dumping it up. Give me a number between 1 and 100. You win, you win the giveaway. Everybody's favorite game, win some trash that he's not going to send you anyways. Give me the number between 1 and 100 on the inbox on, on, my, on my wall. Or just comment on this video and I'll send you the combination to his safe. The gun shop where I get my, my babies from. I even called the prosecuting attorney's office to make sure... That, you know what I mean, where people get on here and say, oh, Dirk, you ain't allowed to have this and that. He got on and he said, watch, dude. We have no cases with Derek Castle's name over it. That boy is not a felony. Thank you. I mean, if that don't prove it, people, he is not a felony, and he does not have a medical marijuana card. That's from Mr. Dan Holstein's office. He used to be my brother's lawyer. The safety Terry said, well, hold on, it's a conflict of interest. That safety Terry should have known that wasn't a conflict of interest. No, it's not. He's he was never my lawyer, man. Five minutes later, she said, uh, you are right about that. She said, uh, I apologize. My lawyer was always Pete Hendricks until they used him as a conflict of entrance. I know you had a conflict at the entrance of the courthouse when you tried to sneak that weed in the courtroom. Dan Holstein is the prosecutor. The case that I was most recently involved in, he said it would wipe his ass with it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, right here, London, England. This is the day he burnt his guitar if you remember what I'm talking about see what I'm saying that was in 1968 that's one of the rarest picks you can get it's so rare you can get a 12 pack for five dollars at Guitar Center he is stupid every one of them's got the date on them of the tour he thinks Hendrix played with those picks and I also saw a rat run across the floor with a Pink Floyd pick in his mouth they didn't make a left-handed guitar when he was alive just stupid here's what makes him even more special he could tune them up why he was in the middle of a concert playing it. What's really special is I've watched you play the guitar for five years and it's never been in tune. Special. Jimmy Hendrix is the reason they make left-handed guitars, people. Oh, Jimmy Hendrix is an Olympic white guitar. Nobody even knows where it is. Ooh, ooh, I know where it's at. Paul Allen, co-founder of Microsoft, bought it for $2 million. He's got it, dumbass. Or the girl he was dating at that time. This stick bug thinks his ex-girlfriend stole it like his girlfriend stole his sentimental pants. Once a pickle, always a pickle. We can take a cucumber and pickle that mother, but we won't unpickle that cucumber once it turns to a pickle. Once a pickle, 
always a pickle. They're a pickle, Rick. And these people that are hacking people are about to pay a lot of money and go to jail. He said, that's all around you. God that takes care of what we just spoke about, you know, federal communication, uh, fraudulent people. Son, the only way I'm going to stop reviewing and reacting to your videos is if you stop making them. So it's up to you. Because he ain't grown up to be a man. Tell us about being a man while you beat women and not raise your kids and never had a job. Turkey. Me. I'll never announce this to the world. I've never said this to nobody. Only me and my uh, immediate family knows about it. And her messed around a little bit. She called me back. Well, she said, I'm pregnant. She moved back to California, had the child. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'd be more than glad to take full custody of my son. Never heard from her again. So there's three kids that he's got that he don't support. We got Junior, Izzy, and California Boy. Three I know of, but maybe four. So you're a bigger piece of shit than we all thought. I wanted a wife and a family. This one chick went crazy on me, bro, because I wouldn't allow her to do mess. Red team, turkey, go, 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 go. Get these motherfuckers out of here. Red team, go. They wait till they get ready to get some, some pecker air. I don't want to say that, you know, the D word. You know, be disrespectful. You just said it like six times five minutes ago. They wait till they're going to get some dirty jerk and tie us down. And we don't get candle wax. We get goddamn government cheese burned up on us. Ah, what the f*** are you? Do you want to smell some pussy? You spray a whole thing to tinks and put a rag across his face and tape it on him. Oh, God. He, you die Hendrix style, dog. Be gone. You self uh, why can't I say this? You know? <laughs> Officiate, you know what I mean? Aphixiate. You gotta have teeth to say that one, Dirk. I'm a loner. <laughs> he said, you know, I don't want to say the D word, but and then two minutes later he said, want to smell some pussy? It's just yeah. some fucking... And he then... was just talking about being dickless and he was like... <laughs> <laughs> and then he said at the beginning of it, he said, yeah, what's that one name? Uh, Moses Heaps. He's been sh he has been talking about you for two weeks oh, that, every single time he goes live. That, what's his name? What, what's his name again? <laughs> so yeah, that's like that. the second part. He don't <laughs> shut up. You know, the, the, that was just part one of that one. He's just getting fired up. He's just <laughs> into his Jimi Hendrix phase right now, you know, when he officiated himself. <laughs> <laughs> he said the safety, Terry, told him it was a conflict of entrance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is conflict God? of entrance. <laughs> That's a hell of a lawyer. <laughs> you know, he said he went and bought a said he went and bought a, a cell phone. I don't know if I cut this out or not for the second part, but he said he went and bought a cell phone out at the T Mobile store. And he ended up yeah. buying four phones and an iPad, you know, which he didn't, didn't buy nothing, but he said yeah. the guy there was had been to college uh and was real smart and said that he looked at his youtube and said you know what you can put that moses heaps guy in prison <laughs> <laughs> and he took his card he took his card you know go get law advice from the guy at the t-mobile store <laughs> but now said, he's he's done say he's got another kid he's got another son yes, yeah, <laughs> he, yeah. He, he elaborated on that a little bit and said uh, the junior he's a he gets so mad when i tell him you know that he's got brothers and sisters out there he's like yes, no i'm yes. the only son oh my like, god <laughs> damn i'm like god almighty <laughs> <laughs> Oh he thinks that those pics that he bought because they've got the <laughs> Jimi Hendrix logo. We saw yeah. him buy. We saw him pay twelve dollars for twenty pics at the Guitar Center down in Virginia yeah. when he went. Yes. And now he's acting like these are these are super rare. Then you pulled them off a, a rack of like fifty. There was you should have bought them all. <laughs> then he shouted "bird out" because he's talking about once a pickle, always a pickle, kid. Uh, unpickle a cucumber, but you could cucumber a pickle, and <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> So Bird finally got her turkey shout out. Uh, yeah. Hashtag cucumber verse, you know, but still, yeah. It was crazy. The extra kids. He said three, maybe four. Unbelievable. Uh, he said he said waving I mean, a gun around at me. He said, I've never uh, 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 I've uh, never announced this to the world, just my close family, my close friends, but I got another kid out there. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong? <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> he said, you know, he's like, there's there's none none of these Boone County bitches. He's like, not a one of them gets my attention. Forgetting that he just said 24 yeah. hours ago that there's only one girl out there that gets, and she's from Boone County, huh? Yeah. Like, God yeah. almighty, like, you can't remember God nothing. God almighty. <laughs> Stop doing it. Stop doing it. <laughs> God, oh man. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's watch part two. Let's get into this shit. Here we go. All right. Just say that one, Dirk. I'm a loner. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I choose to be alone. Boy, Chicken Bo, wish that shit was true. I think I'll die alone, bro, and unhappy. Well, I'm a miracle baby. I was born one in a trillion. I was born to a tubal Jason. Did he say toothless nation? That's why Billy's two years older than me. My heart ain't never lied to me in my gut, and that's what my gut and heart tells me. Your brain and your mouth is making up for your gut and your heart. Believe me, because they lie all the time. I'm a piece of shit, bro. I'm a piece of shit because the internet says I'm a piece of shit. Certainly has nothing to do with you beating up your last two girlfriends, living off your mom, having all those kids running around, never having a job, never taking accountability, nothing to do with that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? One of my friends come and told me, it's like that girl told me, you never raise your voice at her, dude. And I said, I never did. I said, in four years, we was together. You must be smoking wasp spray. You went with that girl barely over a year, and we've got multiple videos of you berating and screaming at her. Drugs and computers will destroy the world, and... This was computer. I know you was on drugs when you hit that girl over the head with a computer. If my daddy could wake up, you know what he'd say? He'd say, my name's Carvey. Get a job, boy. Do you know who I am from the movies or the music or podcast or whatever it is out there that I do? Nope, people are in your chat because of the things I do. True love is bliss. Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> Look, they come and took a picture of my house when I had I made my homemade flagpole dude check it out that's you know what that means on it mountaineers are always free now that's why i'm feared by so many of those youtubers and shit right now because dirty is clean that make all the videos you want motherfuckers you know why because i can put it right back down and go right back down i can make it look any way i want on the white castle side thin hair with the receding hairline right there it don't bother us guys and don't make a thumbnail out of it. There's your thumbnail, guys. Go ahead, get your thumbnail. When I can sit there and actually spike it and everything if I wanted to. But that hurry up, Moses fucking creeps. Oh, he likes my thumbnails. I found that Jaeger vinyl buster last, last night. It says, to Emily, right on it. Just to hold up in front of him and let them know. I paid every bit of that shit off, remember? I remember you paid off one of the many people that you scammed. However, I also remember your girlfriend saying that she signed most of those names. Because I know you scam me for thousands, and we and we continue to see it. You ought to know. You paid for it. Down to my YouTube account. You're hacked into my... Guess who's linked to my... Who uses my YouTube? Moses Heaps through a third party. Then prove it. Do something about it. Until then, hack, 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 hack. And he went in there and gave his own self permission. Ain't that right, Mr. Heaps? I'm hacking them cell phones next, boy. Fucking video where the digital investigator shows it. It shows it. Uh, uh, you want me to show you the picture where it says Moses Heap linked to your account as third party? I'd love to because I don't even own a computer. I've just got one cell phone and it's got a cracked screen. That's who earns my money, everything. I'll show you the picture right now. I got a picture for you. Here it comes. Oh, I bet that burned your ass. Where it shows the linkage, everything. Moses Heath, third party of Derek Castle, but Derek Castle White's. Derek Castle White, is that hyphenated like Hillary Rodham Clinton? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? My YouTube. Go look on Google right now. It tells you how much I've made. Ten thousand six hundred some dollars. Post the proof. I'll wait. Well, I've only seen maybe twelve hundred of that. So where's the other eight hundred some dollars? their pocket just admit it i hacked your brain they don't understand that shit has a paper trail that you can't erase they, they think they can't use it because it's from facebook right the case here is you're still using my name my content 
Section 230. Look it up. I'm reviewing and reacting to public content made by a public figure. That I gave him permission. Give you permission, bro. I don't ask for permission. I just take. I live in Boone County, West Virginia. Why do you think I said Boone County mating call? You stole that phrase. Everybody said it long before you. When, like, when I talked to the, that one police officer, he's like, what I see from you is you're one hell of a fucking dad. Why would he say that when you haven't even seen the kid in months? I've been single for almost three, you know, for years now. This time last year, a girl was living with you and y'all was making plans to get a house and move out and have kids of your own. I don't want to snort no pills. Go back and listen to what I say. So much of it was bullshit and so much of it was lies. Absolutely, you can put that in there. What was that movie? Another Yalla Belly underground skit? To make fun of people for money? When I'm done with my music career, I want to be buried in West Virginia. God, there's so much we have to unpack here. <laughs> I told you the second part was wild. <laughs> he said, I found that Jaeger bottle meister. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Jaeger the Jaeger Mitel Boster or something he said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the best part was the math part. Now Google oh it, look God. it up. I mean, how much did I make? Ten thousand dollars. And it says that you took how much did it say you took? I took twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Where's the other eight hundred dollars? <laughs> no wonder he gets hacked. No wonder he gets hacked. My he favorite part was he said, "He said I'm a miracle baby." He said I was born part of a tubligation. I thought it was because Swore he said toothless nation. <laughs> a miracle said, baby. Is that, he said, "Is that another one of them yellow belly underground videos?" What is fucking wrong? <laughs> I'm going to start calling him the Miracle Baby. <laughs> Please do. Please, every time you refer to it, the Miracle Baby. Oh, my God. It's fucking incredible. He started roughing up his hair. <laughs> as soon as he did that, I, I put this in. Like, he done that a uh, couple days uh, we done that like Thursday, and I put that on a dab for Friday. Like I just, I put it on there immediately as soon as he did. <laughs> Take your damn, your thumbnail. Screenshot, <laughs> yeah. Moses, Moses yeah, creeps, put it on your thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking incredible, man! He's gonna get you the section two thirty. The guy at the um at the phone store. Oh my God, yeah. it's just so much. Oh. I even, I, still, and I'm, I'm, I'm using his own words. Floored. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm still floored about the extra kids. That's what I'm still floored about is yeah. like, what in the hell is wrong with him? <laughs> he said, he said that cop call, told him that he was uh, one hell of a father, but he just admitted God. like just previously that he had a kid he's never seen and, um, we know he's got the other one. He's a hell of a dad. He's never taken yeah. care of Junior. Oh, my God. It's fucking insanity, hey, dude. He said, uh, he said that cop <laughs> told him, he said, you know, he's like, you're never in trouble. He's like, you've never, he's like, you never get in any trouble. And he's like, and you're one hell of a dad. And, uh, you know, he's like, he's like, and you, you can vote and you've got your gun rights and your medical weed card. You know, he just kept going on all these fucking lies. and. <laughs> I'm just going to start using his own words against him, too. You know, yeah, I, yeah. he's like, how much money did you take? I'm like, you ought to know. You bought it. You paid for it, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, where's the other $800? Miracle baby. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what is wrong with him? He called himself White Castle. Like, I thought I was the only one that done that. Uh, yeah, I, I know said, that, it. I know. I used the uh, Rustin's old line. Is that is that hyphenated like Hillary Rodham Clinton? <laughs> 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 that pisses him off. Oh, oh my gosh! And, and and Rebel honestly thinks like he is. He's right there with her. He's sending Durkee a hat. They're friends. Oh yeah. my god, just crazy shit. You know, you <laughs> you had sent me some pictures, some old pictures you found. Um, real quick, I want to show them here. Oh yeah, here's that was when they one. went to they went to Mayberry. Yeah, and yeah, uh, I guess yeah. There's Otis. There's, there's a picture play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
That was the guy that, that played Otis. He was there. Looked a lot like Tater. <laughs> but then, like, the actual Otis was is kin to Rebel. I didn't know that, but I guess, you know, he liked to get oh. his brain wet, too. <laughs> Otis, Otis Campbell kid. Otis Campbell kid. <laughs> well, then there was this one. There he is, Otis Campbell kid. Yeah. Like, they look a lot of like yeah. yeah, they really do. It's <laughs> uncanny. It's uncanny. <laughs> Oh, but um, but he's talking. About, he also put uh, he put Durkee in a video. Uh, yeah, with uh, he had him driving in a Mustang with Square. Yes, you know, yes. and and he's making fun of him, and he has Square up on the panel. He played it for Square, like you know, he, look yeah. at this one, Square. You'll like this. You remember when you was hanging out with Durkee and you was riding in a Mustang? Well, that was good times, wasn't it, Square? <laughs> he's just so fucking. <laughs> it's like he's lying about a job he said he had yeah. three jobs you know he ain't got one job so he's gonna go ahead and lie might as well fuck yeah lie about why, not? One. why not just say you got three yeah exactly and uh <laughs> Durkee, he done the Durkee done the exact same thing he said he was a coal miner yeah. and yeah. uh yeah. square square's doing the exact same thing although square yeah. i've heard really is sitting with somebody now he's uh oh really uh, a home health aide for some oh, old really? man is it really yeah Oh, yeah, well, that's, uh, yeah. Well, that's what I've heard. How'd you find that out? I talked to this guy. Yeah, well, I talked to the guy that he was, he's sitting with this guy's granddad. Oh, and really? he said he's got a new home health aide in, in near Hayti. And he described him, but I don't know if it was square or not. And uh, he told me some of the things about him. Yeah. How many things did he tell you? He had 10 things wrote down, uh, 10 commandments, signs the square as it was his granddad's homemade. I'm like, but, you know, it sounded, it sounded a lot like it, like number 10. He said when he went to visit his granddad, his granddad yelled, are you working first? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he said that his granddad hadn't. Uh, he said his granddad hadn't been the same ever since back in '63. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> another thing he said, number nine, was that uh, he keeps taking the wrong cane home with him. <laughs> like what? How do you get? He's sitting with him. They both got. They both on a cane. <laughs> It was a sign of the square. It was uh, probably yeah. that home, that homemade don't, or the number don't eight. Smell the cane, whatever you do. Oh yeah, number eight. He got. <laughs> he, he saw a tranny sneaking out the back door. <laughs> Gene must have been there too. Then. Yeah. Oh you know how God. square is about back door trannies. <laughs> you see his man kit, for example, the man kit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this was a this was a sure fire sign right here, number seven. Where the guy said that eight delivery drivers and the coroner had been there today. <laughs> so they just kept coming to pick up packages and they didn't have nothing to ship, and then they come looking for a body. I was like, I, I bet that square. It sounded like number six was another one that. He said his grandpa whispered to me, he said, he calls me Mayor Astrashan. I'm like, what? <laughs> that sounded more and more like Square when he said number five. He said that uh, he wore a Xenu Loves Me shirt to bingo. Jars of peanut butter in two days. 
His granddad's allergic to peanut butter, too, is the crazy thing. He's got a peanut out. Yeah, he's allergic to all peanuts. He went through three jars in two days. Oh. <laughs> Number three, he called him. He called his granddad. His granddad answered the phone. Happy holidays. <laughs> It was the middle of July, and he said that. Like, <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Oh. But he did say number two that uh, his granddad hadn't walked the same since Square was hired. <laughs> he threw his hip out uh, like back yeah. in '63. <laughs> yeah, it's what he said. He said it reminded him of when the little guy down at the boot store would be pouring the cock to him like back in '63. Ah, <laughs> uh, he poured a cock like back in '63. <laughs> we ate some schmuckers jam. Oh, uh, oh my god! We ate some faggy pudding. <laughs> These are signs that uh, Square is that guy's uh, grandfather's homemade. Number one, all the grandpa's meds are now in powder form. <laughs> Lord of oh God Almighty. <laughs> Oh, my God. This is so stupid. It's so great. Right. Oh. Right. I think he fucking snorting up them pills ain't you, Square. I'm thinking, damn, son. Squar. <laughs> Come on over and dare paint some hills, Squar. I'm fucking not doing it. Take a little, little power. <laughs> That was Moses' top two commandments. <laughs> Size and square is your grandfather's home health aid. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Give me just uh, like. <laughs> yeah. If you ever, if you, if you ever hear any of those things, you got to check them out. You know, you don't want square to be, uh, be your granddad's home health aid for God's sakes. You know, another, what was that? Oh, yeah. Since 63, uh, they used to do crazy things down at the old James Conn store. He's knocking boots and stocking boots. And sometimes uh, he'd hire up, you know, the, the mentally challenged kids in town. The ones with horribly mangled legs that couldn't hold a regular job. And that's how uh, Square got to know Saul. And, uh, yeah. Then Square got involved with the Yuba Tuba, and uh, turns out that, well, he, he left Saul dead down in the basement for a couple of days, and he found out online that uh, that he was dead. It was a, that was a good okay, stream that day. Sorry, sorry. Uh, what was a good stream? Oh, when he found out Saul was dead. Oh, my God. <laughs> That was a yeah, good that one. was that was a great one. That's classic. 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 Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah, the God Almighty really is rebel, Tracy. Uh, yeah. uh, it's just uh, uh, Moses does it better yeah. than Rebel does it. I'll say it again. Moses does Rebel's voice better than Rebel does Rebel's voice. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. When when Saul died, and then. Uh, I always like the Money Talks Bullshit Walks panel, too, when Square kept letting people come up, and he called me uh, all kinds of names, and you came up. It was, yeah, that was a good one, too. There's some great ones. Old Square streams yeah. are really good. I wish he would, um, I don't know, I wish that he would quit thinking. Money like Talks he, Bullshit Walks, man. <laughs> That's right. Money Talks Bullshit Walks, man. That's right. That's right. And speaking of our Lord and Savior. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Dark Lord has uh, yeah. he's been at it again. Yeah. He's been at it again. Yes, you know, he, he has. Yes, he has. That first meet he made, he said he was going to wait till October 20 something before he drunk it. And he waited about seven days. And he went ahead and bound right. it. Uh, so he made him up another one. Yeah. And uh, well, 
what I like to do is just go about the whole week and put them all uh, together, just a uh, you know a little mashup of of Cobra's week because he he Cobra does some likes, things, yeah. you know. Yeah, he does. He does different things. Yeah, some things. He done sure. um, some yeah. songs and you know some food hacks and he's really into making his own liquor, you know, his own mead, his yeah. own wine or whatever. But I don't know if this yeah. last one, this this this, this last one's going to work. And that's uh. As yeah. The focus really is on a lot of that on this 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 body go. Okay, all right. And speaking of uh, his liquor, uh, stay tuned for later. We got a little uh, a little response to something that happened with somebody who likes their liquor as well. Uh, and so yeah, uh, yeah. So let's bring his video. damn kids on there. But yeah, you the may got your kids, you know. You make it, don't bring them on the damn YouTube, especially yeah. if you got a you know yeah. your own panel with a, a fat hooker. Yeah, for God's yeah. sakes. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's watch some codes real quick. What up, YouTube? We're chilling like Rockstar Villains. We sent Cobra four big-ass bags of ice. We sent him a Big Mac with no meat. <sighs> Playing with dolls again. Shut the fuck up, Sean. <laughs> and uh, I gave him some uh, goth makeup. Kind of avoid a hangover. You eat plenty of greasy food when you're done drinking. Then when you wake up in the morning, take another shot and drink some Sprite. Hold on one second. I got your knock at my door. Probably another fucking stupid cat food delivery. My children are so fucking pathetic, dude. Two big old gallons of milk. Well, milk is good for the bones and it's a good source of protein. Oh, we tried sending cat food, so let's send him some kitty litter. Fuck these trolls. <laughs> One ten inch GF crust pizza. Left side of the pizza, no original sauce, no pizza, cheese, mushrooms, fresh spinach, extra hot buffalo sauce. Right side gets. No original sauce, no pizza, cheese, onions, fresh spinach, extra hot buffalo sauce. That'll show Cobra. They deliberately took the cheese off to fuck with me because they know I love cheese. What the fuck is a GF crust? Gluten-free crust? Ha <laughs> ha! That's hilarious. You split a little bit, that's all right. You got two bananas. Local honey. I'm gonna add some Reese's. Peanut butter chocolate syrup. Bacon bits. Bacon's clogging up the funnel, hold up one second. Shits and giggles, we'll add a little bit of Jeff Creamy. The juice we're gonna be making it from is this Mucho Mango. I'll have to drink some of this down to make some room for more juice. Yeah, it's got two packets of that eleven eighteen yeast. Now, thank you to the fans who like watching me make. I'm enjoying eat. the process of fermenting my own alcohol. Oh. Or, or blue that. Excuse me. Really good mead. What I'm doing is I'm blocking the banana and the bacon bits with my teeth so I don't drink that and leave that in the bottle. Here, one second. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
He's going to die. That's it. Isn't he? Oh, he's going to he, die. He put yeah. two packs of full packs of yeast. In. One pack makes enough for like a whole gallon, five gallons. Yeah, and he's got two packs in there, and it hadn't been in there more than twenty four hours, and he's sitting there drinking it straight. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's awful. Oh, and it's, I mean, the 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 flavor has to be bacon bits, bananas, peanut butter, and Reese cups in with uh, what did he call it? Um, <laughs> he called it mocho mango. <laughs> it was mango mango. mango. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, that's got to be. Oh, it looks like puke. It already looks like puke. The color of it. Why would, oh my God. Uh, and he'll yeah. drink the whole damn thing too. He'll yes. end up drinking every bit of it. Can you imagine what his stomach does? I mean, oh. God almighty. And, <laughs> <laughs> Botulism for sure. I mean, Absolutely. something, Absolutely. something. And, and if it ferments with the bacon bits and stuff yeah. in there. Oh, can the you chocolate, imagine? Oh, oh my God. yeah. Well, he his um. Let's see. What does it say? YouTube administrator said here at YouTube, we believe that concoction he makes would make any alcoholic sober. I. It's not even. And the thing is that like he makes all these. He mixes up all these different meads and hooches and stuff, and doesn't give them at the time. So he's just drinking like juices at this point because he hasn't given any time. I don't think have any of them like aged That's, all the way. Well, each one keeps getting further away from being an actual mead. You know, the first one he made, he let it set a little longer than they did the others, and it actually was. You know, bubbling and fermenting and filling his, uh, you know, his burp balloon up. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. But they're just getting further away, further away. You know, something else he done on that one. Uh, and if you go to Bog Boggling Chronicles, you can see all of it. But uh, he was, you know, how he holds his lid and he drills that hole through it. Yeah, he, yeah. He made and they made another one of those. Didn't cut himself. Didn't lose a finger. But he went to wash it off in the sink and dropped it down in the uh, the disposal. <laughs> Had to make him another one. Didn't lose a finger again. But it was like everybody's just waiting on him to cut his finger oh, off. Oh, absolutely. Trying to it's drill a hole while he yes. holds it. Yeah. Um, Herschel said, Moses, can we get? Can you get Coves on for Halloween? Well, um, no, he's he's probably, already talking about his plans for Halloween. You know, he's he's yeah, got big. He does yeah. big things on Halloween. Puts on his mask. Yeah, goes to goes a random to bar, bar. Yeah. gets thrown yeah. out, you know, trolls yeah. mess with him, and then he comes home and sucks about it and tells them how, yeah. you know, he owns the trolls. Yeah. But now because we're definitely the... working on getting him back here. I want to maybe try to get him back here for Rick's birthday like last year because, yeah. you know, make it a tradition that way. That would be so fun. That would be so fun. I, I, hope, I hope he does. He's if he a... makes it and that long. He's... That's right. So I was just getting ready to say, and his teeth, he said, I'm oh. holding the banana and the bacon bits back with my teeth. He doesn't have, you talk about, he has like soft, soft, soft teeth. Like you can oh. look at his, and you can see the tartar on his teeth. Oh, when, I just wouldn't from him suggest talking. looking oh. at it. Oh, oh, it's awful. It's awful. It's awful. It's gross. Oh, but, um, I mean, yeah. I think Kyle Lyle quit riding Roberta. She's, she's tired. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Kyle Lyle. Y'all quit riding Roberta. She's, she's tired. <laughs> yeah. Square. Square. Square's backstage telling us that. Um, I'm going to drop this Bart link. Bart loves that black car. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Low cows won't shut up. God almighty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Any of you locales want to jump up? There's the streamyard link. But you t talking about locales, and then talking about liquor. There's some dummy, a dumb David, who I and I I just found out about this this morning. I didn't watch. I don't watch his stuff anymore. It's not fun like it used to be. Nah, but uh, so, uh, um, I was over at Vinny's and somebody was talking about. Now Brookie sent me a link to it. That's what it was. Brookie sent me a link to um, uh, <laughs> Dumb David on the panel with that fat hooker bird. And uh, he thought it would be a good idea. Uh, let me see. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can get this picture real quick. Uh, how can I do it real quick? Anyway, he thought it'd be a good idea to bring his kids up and do... Uh, Tell him Moses what he was doing. You you watch. I don't even know what he did. I watched. I watched like did two watch minutes him? of it. I watched. I watched him introduce him, and uh, you know, 
he's like, here's, yeah. I got uh, 3D, you know, my son. And he's got his kids wearing yeah. fucking ski masks. He's like, how old are you, 3D? He's like, I'm 14 up yeah. in here, you know. And, and he didn't know yeah. how old the kid was, 12 or 13, something like that. The, the little girl was 14, 13. Four, yeah. Oh my God! This is so stupid, so stupid. Why would you do that? Yeah, and then he, who's he yeah. got on panel with him? Uh, this is my, you know, here's a bird. You know, what up, bird? What up, bird? What are you doing, bird? Yeah. I'm just over here sucking yeah. black dick, yeah, eating chicken. I don't <laughs> skip on the side, my guy. <laughs> you know, I thought, I thought, well, you know, they'll tame it down a little bit. But no, nah, I mean, he's still, he's like, fuck these people, no. you know. Bird, what well, damn about you yeah. sucking dick, bird? You know, I'm, nothing. They didn't change nothing. They didn't tone it down for nothing. And they start yelling the shit about nothing. tell them, uh, about tell them three D's. Like you gonna get payday now? We gonna get payday? We gonna have two kids fighting on the stream? That's right. Like, yeah. oh man, what are y'all fucking stupid? Yeah, it was insanity. Yeah, there it is, right there. That's his fourteen-year-old son, and his. I think she's. She might be 18. I don't know. If anybody in the chat knows, knows, I'm sure Buddy or Fell or something. Anyway. The kid's 14. I know that about... because he was four. He yeah, was four yeah. on the, in the movie, and that was 10 years ago. Yeah. And, uh, oh, just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like, who does that for views? And then this tard, I don't know who this guy is down at the bottom, but uh, it was it was just bad acting and bad uh, content and bad paneling and bad parenting, just all the bad stuff all rolled together. I don't know. The girl's That's 22, crazy. Jarek said. Oh, okay. So she's 22. So when you call good, her. Because yeah. I was calling her a nappy headed hoe. You know, when uh, Rick <laughs> sent me that, she's like, you know, she's underage. I said, damn, I was calling her a nappy headed whore and shit last time she was on there. What the fuck? That don't look I too good. She, she and I'm thinking, well, that's probably the fucking least I did. You know, hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just insane to me. And of course, we didn't clip it because he, everything, it's like a fucking script with him anymore. He used to be, yeah. Gene used to be so much fun to interact with, like to troll him and, and like go back and forth with him because he was fun. He got into it. He was just, and now every time it's the same thing. That frog face motherfucker feel the animal and uh, uh, fusion and Ricky and Bose. I mean, just they got, the they got to go. They got to go. They got, got to go. go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm tired they, bring of all this, that they bring in all this negativity to these streets. Dude, the only negative that's coming out of these streets are the view hours on your music, Gene. So just <laughs> don't worry about what we're doing over here. You stay over in your, your little spot with your fat hooker. And uh, I know, I know, Mustard Squirrel. Imagine Bird just lurking behind you and your kids. I mean, yeah. just imagine that you, you're on a, you bring your two kids on a panel with fucking masks on their faces. I'm going to put that up here. I just want everybody to look at how fucking stupid he is. Yeah, like with they're getting ready to be beheaded by the jihadi or something yeah, up in here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was so stupid. And, and Bird, oh, y'all look so cute. No, they don't. Don't give them any. This is not cute. This is not cute. CPS needs to come, become involved or a, maybe a 5150. I don't know. But this isn't cute. 5150. 5150. <laughs> <laughs> I love when Bert went up square does square. 51, 50. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so there's these kids are sitting on panel, fat hooker, their stupid ass dad who, and the thing was, he even talked about the transvestite coming and visiting him with his kids on panel with him. Yeah, they had yeah. the nerve to send a tranny to my house. Your yeah. 14-year-old kid is sitting on this panel with you, and you're talking about it. Oh. Talking about pulling up. They're talking yeah. about, uh, you, know, us, you know, tell us where to come to. We, we all pull up, you know. Yeah. This yeah. is so it's stupid. Crazy. Petey, true words have never been spoken. Using your kids for content winning. I'm telling you what. <laughs> yeah. And not even good content. It would have been, maybe if they would have, like, broke out and started singing a Jackson 5 song or uh, yeah. doing a little soft. Have them standing up on the, yeah, have them up on the counter while Gene's rapping, you know, and have them doing, like, the background yeah. dancing or something. But yeah. no, 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 just just be, just be stupid. 
Yeah, his kids but, just, I mean, it looked like he made them do this, too, it wasn't? You know. Oh, he definitely did. He definitely did. Can you imagine these kids going back to school? But at least, you know, they'll they'll tell them the things they learn, you know, how they learn some things. Oh, uh, yeah. How, how many things do you think that they learn on that screen with Gene? Just hanging up there with me. I say. <laughs> I say. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, Stop thinking mama's things the jeans kids learned on the stream today. I'm telling you. Oh my god. Number ten. Dental hygiene ain't no joke. Daddy, why are your friends toothless? <laughs> Daddy, why you got such a dirty go tooth? <laughs> yeah. Uh, why, well, Daddy, how come all them women missing teeth? <laughs> Every one of them. My oh, God. Number nine. Dad went from an inside piece dock to an eight piece box. <laughs> You know, ironically, eight-piece box is what uh, Burb refers to her snatch as. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, my guy. Oh, come on, by, my guy, for an eight-piece box. <laughs> I'm skip on the side, my guy. <laughs> that it's okay for <laughs> messed out old white women to use the n-word <laughs> now son anybody else says that you beat their ass but but if they toothless and white and on my panel then it's cool if they it's rip cool. the g team with their swords then yeah. they can, they, can they got the swords they got the swords and, and, the, and the sniff they can say they can say the n-word all day oh my god <laughs> Number seven, they found out that one of Dad's fans has a tribute tattoo to the great dumb granny. <laughs> That's their great granny, you know, great great dumb granny. That is their great dumb granny. <laughs> yeah. That way they can remember it, or you know, yeah. All they gotta do is uh, call Seth and tell him to drop his pants, and they can yeah. always see you. Uh, See you, Miss uh, Miss Sagi. You know? yep. <laughs> Great Miss Sagi. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. More to come on the Seth thing. You know, I was on the Filthy Animals panel Friday, and more to come. More to yeah, come about uh, yeah. about uh, dumb jeans, Granny. Number dumb six. Jeans, yeah. <laughs> Last time we all wore ski masks, Dad let us bring our toy guns too. Oh. <laughs> Pull up. <laughs> Where's my daddy's money? Where's our child support money? <laughs> oh. Oh. My daddy said put the money in the bag so we can pay child support. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> else they learn they learn number five <laughs> dumb dad has more costumes than party city <laughs> he sure does he sure fucking hell yeah does. oh these masks. halloween's coming dad you care if we yes. go through your closet <laughs> yes. oh and by the way they were talking the other day about how uh what did they say they said uh, they didn't. They they had some uh, some show ideas, but they're not going to say nothing because everybody likes to steal their ideas. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, Bird has posted a poll with Halloween costumes uh, for people to vote on, just yeah. like the the past four oh. or five. Uh, Halloween episodes we've done, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're still in like, Hell, it's, it's just like Rebels, basically too. And, yeah, uh, Rebels doing the same yeah. thing. Yep. Yep, exactly. Grasping, they grasping, let me grasping, tell you. Grasping, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but these good. kids learn, they learn something, you know, instead of college, they learn number four. <laughs> Online prostitution <laughs> is a career option. And you, know? you don't even have to be pretty or thin. No. 
No. You don't even got to leave the house. Ever. <laughs> or the bed open. Yeah. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Mama. That's just what I think of every time I think of her. Laying in the bed. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> you know they uh, he did some home <laughs> he did some homeschooling number three he gave him a little math class found out number three that uh, forty dollars buys you either two rocks or eight arm flap slaps <laughs> it's a good deal <laughs> it is a good deal five a piece <laughs> yeah. oh my god you know, you get that many, and she starts working it in there. She throws in some extras. She can't help it. It starts flap, 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 flap. Yeah. You might just get a Russian face plant and not even realize it. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. She's no baby white bitch. She's no, she's not. These are things that Jean's kids learn, like number two. Dad's fast love girlfriend likes LBC just as much as BBC. God Almighty, you can't be doing that on the. No, not the LBC. 3D, get out of there. God damn. God Almighty. I mean. Oh Jesus. Well, the one oh, thing you, I... I don't know if they learned this today. I don't know if they learn it today or. You know, they probably they've probably it. known for a long time. I mean, yeah. usually your family knows first. You know, number one. Yeah. Dumb dad, dumb daddy, be gay as fuck. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yeah. Oh God. Yes, he is in every way imaginable. God. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's most just top two commandments. Things Jean's kid learn, kids learn on stream. I'd be so embarrassed of myself. I'd be so fucking embarrassed myself. I really would. He should have been embarrassed long before that, but now, my God, I mean, now he's oh, got yeah. the, uh, now yeah. it's like, you know, yeah, it's bad. Yeah. I saw Square yeah, this hey, morning, too. Square this morning was covering this lawyer, and uh, mm -hmm. he kept he kept correcting the lawyer. I thought that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him doing it. I didn't realize he was correcting me. Yeah, he'd kept... be like, uh, Frank, you're kind of wrong there. Let me tell you why. <laughs> the guy was like, you know, it's not just the guy on uh, that guy that called the the cops. You know, he said uh -huh. it's also the other guy's fault too. You know, he's like both parties are at fault. And he's like, no, 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 he's not. Let me tell you, let me tell you about that, Frank. You're wrong there. <laughs> I'm like, goddamn, he's on here correcting the lawyer yeah. about law and relating it all to himself. You know, no, yeah. no, you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong about that. When they called on me on January sixth, it's just God. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way oh. it's January 6th, like it's the insurrection. You know? I know. I always think when he says that, I'm, all, I'm always thinking, is he talking about the insurrection? <laughs> There's one of the fans having, like, you know, picked up on, they're talking about January 6th on here constantly. You got to see what the fuck's going on. I'm like, is Square involved with the insurrection? What the fuck? I'm not sure, but I think Charlie D, you may have been at the, at the Capitol. Something about January 6th, Charlie D, JM, we need to look into it. Oh, Mustard Squirrel. <laughs> Mustard Squirrel, you said that somewhere else earlier. And I was, listen, I want you to read this in um, in uh, Bobot's voice here. Hold on. There you go. Square overdose three times just this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet he Must did. have been that shit that Billy had. <laughs> Going around. Damn Durkey was up seven days in a row. <laughs> oh, Ursula said, at least we know Wilma won't work with Jean. Speaking of old Miss Weatherly. Yeah, uh, she's been around. I heard yeah. her. She's been around. Yeah, yeah. She uh, she came by payroll and was talking yeah. to them about uh, how does she, uh, you know, she's been on, I guess, kind of a hiatus, kind of a sabbatical oh, yeah. kind of thing. And she wanted to She does our sports department. There ain't been yeah. much sports going on, you know, but Sunday. Uh, yep. Sunday, Durkey's going to the Cleveland Browns game. Wow. Uh, the Cleveland versus 49ers <laughs> coming up the 15th. You know, you got Friday the 13th coming up. Yeah. yeah. Well, Sunday yeah. the 15th is the day that Durkey's been talking about for months and months, you know. And yeah. uh, we're sending Wilma there. We're sending Wilma straight Absolutely. to Cleveland. Yep. You know, she may stop by and see some hookers on Clark. We don't know what <laughs> might go on. Uh, but we're sending so Wilma just... out into the field. Well, and uh, I'm really thinking, thinking about maybe <laughs> <laughs> that was 
thinking about maybe sending of... some sending somebody with her though too you know somebody oh, else that'd uh, be good. Yeah. and we sent her because last time you know she got abducted uh, yeah yeah turned, you know we thought she's... donald had, had her for a while we thought people yeah. had people in the chat had had wilma yeah uh, it turned out michael myers had really got her and we know yeah. dirk has got the damn michael myers mask now so <laughs> For protection, oh, yeah. hey, I've called on a, a yeah. man from the east. I've called on a man from the east to, uh, from the east oh, of Carolinas yeah. to, to come <laughs> in and maybe maybe help her. Oh, that'll be great. Yeah, that'd yeah, be good. The, that'd be good. Yeah, the colonel, yes. the colonel yeah, himself, the colonel himself, the yeah. colonel and Wilma. That uh, you don't want to miss that. Let's look at this thumbnail real quick. All right. Yeah, we got the locale barber shop. Uh, <laughs> I was going to do the locale dentist office, but it would have just been empty. <laughs> oh. We got the cow and we got the parrot yeah. up here, and you know the 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 cock, you know everything. Well, that's just a hen. That's just a chicken. The parrot. The parrot. That yeah, was the parrot. For rebel. You know. Yeah, 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 it's there, and. uh you're in there looking like uh, you've got the microphone or something out there. You're kind of pissed. I mean, it's the buzzer, so I'm yeah. not sure. And uh, Rebel's in yeah, there. Yeah. Rebel's in there. You know, he's got the the heaps <laughs> glasses on that he stole. He straight swiped from me, even though he claims he had them since 85. I had them since fucking 75, you know, when I met uh, Groucho Marx. Yep, yep, yep. And yep. uh, you got Durkey looking out here with his buddy, the squirrel, both of them with their arms crossed, pissed off. Yeah. You know, Durkey, yeah. you may have been the one that gave him that bowl cut. You know, I'd be pissed off, too, if my hair looked like that. <laughs> 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 got a, uh, a, a, a doorknob there. It kind of looks like a lug nut. Sometimes the lug nuts yep. be sneaking in there. Also oh, in the barbershop yeah, window, it looks like they're selling some square uh, material. Oh, I yeah, see squares they are. logos in there, yeah. And yeah, I noticed that Hag, yeah. Hag has not been in the chat tonight. Uh, I think Hag yeah. may be taking a sabbatical. and uh, yeah. But she did catch a bush on fire and left her knife and her apple <laughs> in the pot of course there. She did. Yeah, she, of course she did. And we're all getting caught on security tape footage up there. So. That's my daddy. That's my daddy's camera. They stole that. Yeah, pull up. Pull up. Uh, that's on a $400,000 basement. Uh, does it look like a $400,000? Basement over in Huntington Road. Yeah, pull up. <laughs> oh my God, that's great. That's, that's fantastic. Oh Jesus, my head hurts. My head hurts really bad. <laughs> uh, this was great. We got. Listen, this was great. We. Oh, Darky's pissed. Y'all be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. We got that. We got. Rebel oh, yeah. has a Rebel has a new catchphrase. <laughs> God Almighty! <laughs> I wish I could play just that part of the video, but I can't. Um, we got some shout outs to Tony Longhouse, Lamont. Make sure y'all go check him out on Mondays and Fridays. We uh, we got to see Cobra and his mead. Man, we, yeah, gee, maybe the last can, time. Maybe yeah, the last time. I'm maybe coached. this might be it for him. Oh, Gene and his kids. Uh, Square working as a home health aide. Rebel on his vacation plans. Dude, this was just jam packed. A jam packed yeah. Sunday. I'm telling you what, it was. Uh, it was incredible. Really, really good. I enjoyed myself. Uh, so what else? What we have coming up? We've got, uh, like you said, Wilma's going to the Cleveland Browns game. Yeah, she's hitting the road. You know, it, you never can tell where the fuck that bitch will go when she hits the road like that. It, yeah. Just can't yeah. tell. And, of course, it's uh, spooky season. So uh -huh. um, we are uh, probably starting either the next episode. I, I guess the next episode. We, we might be having some spooky season stuff for you all. I went to a, a, a haunted forest trail walk thing uh, this past this last weekend and i was trying to like figure out a way i could i don't have my gopro anymore so uh tyler stole it and stole uh, it, yeah. <laughs> and so anyway i uh, uh i was trying to figure out but I, I couldn't and it was too dark you couldn't have seen it but uh we're uh we're looking at maybe 
seeing uh, what we could do about some Waverly stuff. We said that last year, but uh, I'm not going to go in there, but we'll see what we can do. But we got some we got some spooky stuff coming for y'all, and uh, probably this next episode we'll start it up because we have to get to <laughs> There he is. <laughs> That's so fucking creepy looking. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. It is an ideal time, Christy G, you are absolutely right. An ideal time for demonic demons right about now. <laughs> oh, mom said she's going tricking, not treating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey Petey, shout out for uh getting uh uh Shout out for getting noticed or getting a comment response from Diana Ricky, by the way. I just wanted to. Oh, yeah. Uh, I saw that. That was pretty cool. Uh, but, yeah, so there's all kinds of stuff coming up, y'all. And uh, I'll, I'll look forward to it. And <laughs> ah, I'm just tickled with a <laughs> God. <laughs> God almighty. I'll put mustard and mayonnaise in my tater salad. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. I'm going to drop this link one more time for the last 40 seconds that we're going to be on here. They're so scared. They're, They're scared to death. You know, as soon as we oh, end, you yeah. know, they'll, they'll go live and yell yep, yep, and cry yep. and make yep. their little audios. And nobody's going to watch unless I put them on my show, you know, because yep. they can't get them over there because they're boring. Yeah, exactly. Come on exactly. now. Y'all yep. just can't handle You can't handle the truth, like Durkey says. You know, he invented exactly. that line, too. That's right, Debbie. Pull up, Rebel. Pull up. They are scared. They are scared, y'all. They're very scared. They won't. Uh, yeah. Uh, none of you them know, know he's not at work, and that's because he don't have a job. But he says he works <laughs> the the third shift. You know, and the funny thing is, he goes live Friday nights, and I'm like, well, don't you have to work? And, don't you realize it's Friday? It's Friday. You don't. Nobody. You know, I work third shift. It's Friday. <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah, that's it's You'd be working right now if you work third shift, you dumbass. You know. Yeah. He don't. He don't even know. He don't know. He just thinks, you know, weekdays. You know, that's what he that's thinks because right. he has no idea. Right, GOF, you're absolutely right. Learn to love your trolls; they make you relevant, dummies. That's exactly right. For because real. I'm telling you what, if we hadn't, if we hadn't honed in on these people and given them the attention that they're screaming for anyway. They're all screaming for this attention because they can't get it anywhere else in their life. So they come on yeah. YouTube looking for attention. We find them. We give them attention. We're only using their own content against them. We're not making shit up about them. We're not no. none of this. And and so uh, love us, man. You got to learn to love us. You know, uh, Durkee and that, and that dab, uh, somebody come into his chat. He had like six people in that chat. Somebody come in. He's like, who are you? He's like, I've never seen you in here. He's like, where did you hear about me? He's like, did you hear about me from my movie or my music career or my yeah. podcast career? But where did you hear from? You have probably from the dirt dabs, you dumbass. Yeah. That's where she heard about you. Yeah. Uh, but they, they don't know. You know, <laughs> yeah. they can't figure it out. Exactly. <laughs> of course he did. Must Mustard seed. Of course he did. Of course yeah. he did. And I'll tell you what, he's going to, if he's not going to talk about what we've said, he's going to talk about what y'all been saying in the chat. So, I mean, uh -huh. it's, uh, oh, did you read that? What Dirk, Kevin, I got Iceman to shout you both out at the very end of his live today. He called me a Mi Moses and Rick Troll person. Fantastic. <laughs> That's a great, that is a great title to have though, DCV. And I know you wear it because you're A1 from day one. I, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, all right. Well, who's going live besides Square? Well, you know, he can. Eh. Uh, I don't know. Jaw or Buddy or Vinny or um, if Naughty's in here. I don't know if Naughty's going tonight. Um, let's see if anybody responds. Right oh, yeah. Now. I've been going over to Naughty's a little bit and catching up on them. That's where uh, basically after Rebel ran everybody out of his chat. Yeah, go. That's, that's where everybody went was over there. Yep. 12 there point you go. going y'all go, yep. go over to 12 points. There you go. I know you are, Vinny. I didn't know if you were going live dick, afterwards. Man. I'm talking about my dick. I'm talking about yours. <laughs> I'm talking about my dick, bitch. Because Vinny got to, Vinny had uh, Mandry on there this morning, and she tried to uh, she tried to troll, and it didn't didn't happen. So, you know. There's so, yeah, another one that don't work. Another one claims she works and is on YouTube every yep. single hour, every single panel that she can click on. 
Yep. Let's see. Moses, you have freed of hours of my time with the Dirty Dabs. Yeah, he does. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yes, yeah, this, this uh, is for sure. Buddy, you are doing a fantastic job being the tranny rounder upper for these cows. Keep doing it. <laughs> keep doing it well. All right, y'all. Go check out um, 12 Point. He is going live in three minutes. So we're going to, um, I guess we're going to wrap things up so that he can, we can send oh, people yeah. over there. Uh, and Lori's going live for the late night crew. So check her out after Mike uh, 12 points. Right. And, this might be the last time old Mikey goes live too, son. I'm taking him out. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I saw that, Vinny. All right, y'all. Well, um, have a wonderful start to y'all's week. We will be back Wednesday at uh, 10 o'clock. And um, I saw a leg, little leg day. Oh, I wanted to thank um, Miss Paula Polly and Timothy Muncie for the cash apps. Thanks, you guys. We appreciate oh, you yeah. all. And, uh, yeah, uh, if y'all need to get a hold of us, you know how to do it. The phone number, the text, the IG, the Gmail. The, there's all kinds of ways to get a hold of us if you want to get a hold of us. Uh, everybody have a great start to your work week. Head over to 12 Points right now. Check it out. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you all uh later on we'll see y'all oh, one more soon. thing to say before you cut it off there what's that god almighty <laughs> good night <John. So free checking. Damn it! Man cow in the morning. Shut up! Tell you something, tell you how, how I feel about school, Jerry. It's a waste of time. Bunch of people running around, bumping into each other. Got guy up front says two plus two. The, the people in the back say four. Then the, then the bell rings. They give you a carton of milk and a piece of paper that says you can go take a dump or something. I mean, it's, it's not a place for smart people, Jerry. Mm -hmm.